We talk all sports, but mainly we talk Miami Heat sports. We love them all teams, all fans. If you think perspective is this happening? Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Hero for three, who on D? Buckets get buckets, bam on the reef. Laced up, run it through your playoff tree. You say we going down, we'll see. The team is no threat. Keep on talking, we got next. From the three on net. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Salute, 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 salute. Salute to everybody who's tuning in, man, listening on their device, whether on their phones, in their cars, at home, or on their jobs, man. Salute to each and every one of y'all who's tuning in, and salute to each and every one who's tuning in each and every day, whether live on the chat or live on the stream, man. I salute, salute, salute to each and every one of you guys and gals, man. Salute, salute, and I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening to everybody? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to everybody, man. Everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on? Salute, what's Tom. Up? What's up? What's up, Lucy yeah, and Tom. D Master? What's going on? Salute, the Master. Pull this up here. Yes, sir. How's everybody evening? This Friday evening, free smoke. Free smoke Friday, baby. Doing all right. How are you? That's what they call it. That's what they call it. Free smoke Friday. All right, where I'm at? What I'm looking for? What I'm looking for? Oh, here you go. Looking for the Miami Heat. Nephew Wizard must be a little late. Oh, there he is. Yeah. What's up, everybody who's in the chat, man? Everybody who's in the chat, salute, salute, salute to y'all, man. What's going on with y'all, man? What's going on? Hey, we're going to have some fun these last two, two uh, regular season games, man. Uh, it's it's gonna be man. I'm telling you that play in and the playoffs gonna be something, boy. <laughs> it's gonna be some upsets. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be some upsets. I'm telling you, everybody got all these these top notch people thinking that they're gonna win. They think all these top top notch <clears throat> teams gonna win. It's gonna be a lot of upsets, man. The team they think gonna win ain't gonna win. I'm letting y'all know that now, man. I'm letting them know it is not gonna happen. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It is not gonna happen, man. There's gonna be some upsets going around. How is everybody? Salute, salute, D Mike. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Salute everybody. Nephew Wisdom just came, man. Salute, Salute, uh, salute that, uh, Lucy. Dude? Salute, D-Master. How y'all doing today? All right, all right. Yes, it's going to be up this round, yeah, man. I'm telling you. What, in the playoffs? Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be some upsets, man. And play in. I, I think a lot of them top teams, I think a lot of them top teams ain't gonna make it out. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's, it's it happens mostly, you know, every year in sports. You know, I mean, like once the playoff time come, things get tight, every possession matters, <laughs> <laughs> things get yeah. shaky, man. 
Exactly. Exactly, man. You know, but we got to see how these things play out, though. We still got until next week to really see who's going to be in that one through eight from each conference, though. So. Right. Right. Well, not one through eight. You feel me? Like we know Boston and them gonna be number one, but you know, yeah. but you get what I mean. You know, like ba the, the, basically, basically, uh, who gonna be in six, six through ten? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, 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 when you said one through eight, yeah. I mean six, six through eight. I'm sorry, six through no, eight. No, no, even uh, I'd say four through four through eight. But yeah, because that even that could change. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because as we yep. see, even that as could we change. See Brooklyn's beating Brooklyn's beating New York, and I believe if they lose and Cleveland wins, uh, Cleveland moves up. So yeah, New York could be back in the fourth seat. And that's crazy. And, and that's what I was telling people. You know, y'all so busy worrying about how bad Miami playing, which we know how shitty they've been playing. Um, y'all so busy worrying about that, but yet even as bad as we've been playing. We still can get six seed now, and, and do I think it's gonna happen? No, but we still can get six seed. Orlando lose these last two. Yeah, they and lose six, to Philly right and now. Sixers yeah. lose one of these last two, and we win out. We win both of these games with Toronto. We six seed, mm -hmm. even yeah. after even after all that. Ain't that crazy? So <laughs> now, do I think it's gonna happen? No, I'm not even gonna have my hopes on that. I'm just gonna be real. That ain't what's up, Latif. That ain't me being negative or nothing. Um again, when it comes down to hoping other people help us for some reason, yeah. whether it's Miami <laughs> Heat, whether it's Miami Heat or Miami Dolphins, when we when we need other teams to lose to, for us to get it, it that just the no, percentage, yeah, the percentage. Yo, what's good, Lucy? It's hey, what's Yeah, you know, it's on us, man. Having to depend on other people, never a good look, man. Never a good look. It is. Never a good look. Hold on, hold on, Lucy, because uh, y'all ain't out the woods yet either. Y'all got to win both of these. You mean yeah, Mercedes? Yeah. Oh. The Pelicans, y'all got to beat both of these games. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, you sitting there talking that mess. Your garbage Pelicans got to win both the game. Go ahead, <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah, I ain't salute. even gonna start. Go ahead, man. <laughs> yeah, I got you. And salute, salute everybody in the chat, man. Appreciate y'all being here. Salute Daryl. Salute Thelma, D Mike, Mercedes. Who Uncle's talking about? Not, not Lucy. Mm. And uh, salute, Letitia. Let's get this popping, man. We got Raptors versus the Heat. Back to back. It's the first game of it. And uh, Miami Heat needs to get some momentum here. As we got the ball, Jimmy Butler got it. And he's going to find Bam. Bam being guarded by Kelly. Yo, Bam got to go to work. Bam jabs. Bam attacks. And Bam, he gets the layup to go. Bam's on the board for the first buckets of the game from Miami 2-0. Here comes quickly. Emmanuel quickly. A shifty guard out of Kentucky. He finds Barrett. And Barrett, ball gets deflected out of bounds. It's going to stay with Toronto. As speaking of Kentucky, Kentucky got a change of a guard here after over a decade. Calipari's out. Mark Pope is in. So let's see what Kentucky, the future of Kentucky hoops has in store. As quickly inbounds to Kelly O. And Olenek is going to hand it back to quickly. Quickly finds Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr., trying to attack off the dribble he gets hemmed up he takes a tough mid-range shot he knocks it down i mean he had two people around him three people around him he still knocked down the mid-range shot 2-2 two -two ball game here comes tyler hero tyler hero and nico jovic he couldn't control the ball on his seal it goes out of bounds turnover miami here comes toronto and it's going to be a hard game i can already tell and quickly he takes a corner three that's in and out and Caleb gets the rebound. He's going to give it to Jimmy. Jimmy outlets it to Jovic. Jovic attacks off the bounce. He throws up a layup. He misses it. And Kelly O with the rebound. He finds Barrett. And Grady Dick, he shoots a three. He misses it. Rebound, bam. And Grady out of Kansas. 
And, oh, that's an easy find right there by Bam. Jovic was wide open. Bam found him. And Nico gets an easy layup right there. Olenek gives it to Quickly. And Quickly, he's going to get a screen here from Gary Trent. He got hero on him. Kentucky versus Kentucky. Quickly finds Gary Trent. Gary Trent with a fall away mid-range. He's off. But they're going to call a travel here. And turnover ball goes to the Miami Heat. I thought they called a foul. I'd say who fouled him. Salute, Ronda. As we got Nico taking the ball across half court. Gives it off to Caleb. Caleb to Jimmy. Jimmy to Bam. Bam with a quick attack on Kelly O. But Kelly O stymies him, forces a, a dribble pickup. Jimmy corner three. He knocks it down. Jimmy Butler. His best three-point shooting season of his life. It continues here. A 7-2 lead for the Miami Heat. As we got quickly now, he'll push the pace. He gives it to Barrett. Barrett to Olenek. Olenek finds Barrett. And Barrett, with a hesitation move, he gets to the lane to a strong hand. Easy layup for R.J. Barrett. 7-4 lead for the Miami Heat. He sprints back on defense. Tyler Hero with the ball. Tyler Hero. He gets the switch. Now he got Grady Dick on him. In and out move. Hesitation. Finds Nico. Nico to Jimmy. Jimmy's in the post with quickly on him. That's a mismatch. Raptors double and switch. Now they got Barrett on him. Jimmy to Nico. Nico, three ball. That's all. Rebound Barrett. Barrett, quick outlet here to Kelly O. Kelly O steps through for a layup. He smokes it, but he gets his own offensive rebound. Pump fakes. Gets Bam in the air. He draws the foul. Kelly O is going to get two free throws out of this. He's able to do that step through. He got his own offensive rebound. We've seen that a lot with the Miami Heat, man. We give up a lot of second chance points lately. This is Kelly O's 11th season. He's played for the Celtics, played for us, played for the Rockets, Pistons, Utah, and now Toronto. He's been all around the world and back. Well, and it was great having Kelly O, though. As Kelly O knocks down both free throws here, makes it a 7-6 ball game. And Bam, he's going to take it across half court here. Bam, quick attack. He gets fouled, and he's going to get two free throws. Kelly O felt like he was in good positioning, hands up. Bam initiated the body bump. Let's see the replay here as Kelly O's retreating. Yep, that's a foul on Kelly O. He nudged forward a little bit. It's a good call. Two free throws for Bam. As we need the Knicks to tighten up and win their game here because if they lose, now that's going to make Milwaukee rest their guys against Orlando. As Bam misses the first free throw, he got one more all the way. Well, I was a bit confused when you said we need the Knicks to win. I was like, huh? Be yeah, the Knicks to we need the Knicks to win because if the Knicks win, that's going to incentivize Milwaukee to play their guys against Orlando their last game of the season. To be fair, though, if they win tonight, um, uh, Milwaukee, I don't think they're going to play their guys anyway. So, Yeah, but tonight they're not playing Dane. So, oh, okay. And yeah, Giannis so, playing, playing, so yeah, yeah, so that's, you know, it's their best chance. But their second seed is pretty much locked, though. Nah, not if they lose these next two games. It's not. Oh, okay. So so if the Knicks go 2-0 and Bucks go on 2, Knicks 2 seed. Oh. Yep, and everybody's saying that the Bucks are trying to run away from that two seed. As we got Nico off the bounce, Nico left hand layup, he gets it to go. Nico Jovic off the bounce, nifty left hand layup by the big fella. Here comes RJ Barrett the other way, he gets a left hand layup to go. The Heat got to remember RJ's left handed now. He can't keep letting him get to that strong hand. He's gonna kill you. And he's been playing good basketball ever since he came back from that personal leave. We got Tyler Hero pull up mid-range. Tyler Hero's off. Rebound quick. And quickly outlets it. Wow. Grady Dick streaks for a dunk right there. The Heat didn't get back on defense. And it's a tie ball game, 10-10. That's why on all rebounds, you got to keep your head up because you don't know who's streaking ahead the court. We got Jimmy Butler with the ball. Quick dump off the bam, bam. He goes up for a slam. Right now, the Heat got to worry about getting some stops right here to start pushing this lead up. <laughs> For real. I mean, we're going back and forth here. 
Because we got quickly, quickly. They're going to call. Is this a timeout by the Raptors? I think, yeah, I think so, yeah. I, I thought that maybe maybe a turnover again, but no, nah, I think it's a timeout. Yeah, it is, and it's so funny. Now all of a sudden, you know, the Knicks getting well. They're starting to come nope, back a little nope, bit. They're still, nope, they're still down double digits, man. <laughs> I'm actually watching it simultaneously. Uh, down by fifteen. <laughs> wow. They were down. They were down twenty. Twenty four to nine, I believe. To what? Yeah, twenty four to nine to start the uh, second quarter. So. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, the Bucks because see the Bucks at OKC they could easely lose that game without Dame. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So oh, I'm feeling they are. I'm feeling they now are. that would if the Knicks win tonight, Bucks would have to see. But again, unless they're trying to avoid the number seventeen, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, because clearly yeah. they'd be avoiding either us or Philly. <laughs> clearly, and lo and behold. The Knicks thing in the join up. Hmm. Very interesting right now what I'm seeing. Very interesting. You go to Boston, you smack them, and now you got an in-state rivalry game where you swear that you, you own the whole New York. Yeah, That's what yeah. you tell all Brooklyn fans, yeah. and now they're kicking your ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, man, a couple of teams scattered this second seed I'm seeing, man. <laughs> Especially the Bucks. The Bucks. With no Giannis for the first round of that playoffs, oh, they're petrified of that second seed. I mean, they should be petrified of any seed. If they go down to three, I mean, Indiana already been kicking yeah. their ass with Giannis. They have a, yeah, they so, have one regular. Yeah, they got swept by Indiana in the regular season. So, so I, I don't know, man. Well, I've been saying, I, I said at the start of the year, like literally, they traded all their defense for for Dame. So, yeah, hey, man. Like, and even after they fired Adrian Griffin, their defense, yeah, it got a little better for a little bit, but then it went right back to how it was. So, yep, no doubt about it. And now they're just dragging their feet into the playoffs, and now, <laughs> and now Giannis is hurt. It's like, oh gosh, <laughs> yeah. Let me see scores here. So we got Philly handling the business early. We need them today, and we need Cam Thomas and the Nets to go crazy against Philly. I think well, it's going to be on Sunday, right? Yeah. yeah, like we need Cam Thomas and Nets to go crazy against Philly on Sunday. Um, and then obviously we need Milwaukee. Hopefully the Knicks win now. Milwaukee plays Dame and, 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 and their starters. They beat Orlando again. And, and you know, like that could push us to the uh to the sixth seed. As we're back in the action here, quickly throws it up to Grady Dick. He finds Kelly O. Kelly O to Gary Trent. And Gary Trent, they're gonna call a foul here. I thought he got stripped clean, but they're gonna call a foul. As here we go with quickly now with the ball, getting a screen. He gives it off to Gary Trent. Gary Trent gives it back to quick. Two seconds on the shot clock. Quick to Trent. Trent, he fires up a three. He misses it. Rebound, Nico. Nico gives it off to Bam. Bam racing past half court here. He has a mismatch. He got Akbaji on him. And Jimmy has the ball. He barrels through. He gets a layup to go. Jimmy Butler barrels through there and gets a layup. Quickly with the ball, 14-10 lead for the Miami Heat. Quickly working with it. He pulls up for three, and he knocks it down. Emmanuel quickly. He loves playing against the Heat. Him and Maxi and these Kentucky guys, man, they, they got something against Pat Riley for not picking him or something. It got to be something. You know, because Pat Riley went to Kentucky. What is he thinking? As we got Jovic in the corner, he rises up for three. He misses it. Jimmy gets the offensive rebound. And Nico cut back door. Jimmy didn't see it or didn't feel comfortable with the pass. Now he's going to work in the post against Akbaji. Swings it out to Tyler. Tyler, top of the key three. He's short. Quickly with the rebound. He's speeding. And what are they going to call here? Turnover Toronto. Ball goes to Miami. 
Yeah, Gary Jimmy Trent was not ready for that rocket launcher. Jimmy should have definitely passed the Nico on that cop, man. Like, yep. His reactions have become slow. Like he doesn't believe in what he's seeing. As we got Jimmy with the ball being guarded by Akbaji here, national champion out of Kansas. Gives it off to Tyler, right back to Jimmy. Jimmy, he's working off a BAM screen, goes baseline. And Jimmy, they're going to say ball gets deflected by Toronto. He's going to stay with the heat. I thought Jimmy was back to his ways of, you know, giving fans the ball. <laughs> so we're going to have a substitution. Jaime Jaquez, he's checking into the ball game. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Heat got to catch and go to work. And Jaime replaces Jimmy. Tyler on the inbounds. He finds Jaime baseline. Jaime back to Tyler. Tyler pump fake relocate three ball. He knocks it down. Nothing but net. 17-13 lead for the Miami Heat. That was a nice uh, inbounds play right there by the Miami Heat. As we got quickly with the ball being pestered by Hero. Quickly with a left-hand dribble. He gives it off to Grady. Grady, he takes a three ball, and he's off. Rebound, bam. Bam, gives it off to Tyler here. Tyler, he's attacking, holds up a little bit, swings it out to Nico. Nico to Jaime. Jaime to Bam. Bam got a mismatch with Akbaji on him. Bam, he gets two on him, finds Caleb. Caleb to Tyler. Tyler to Nico. Nico layup. He smokes it, gets offensive rebound. He makes that one. He messed up Tyler's assist, but he still got a bucket to go here. 19-13 lead for Miami. Just under five left in the quarter. Here comes Grady Dick. Picks up his dribble, finds Akbaji. Akbaji skips it over to Trent. Trent Jr. for three. He's off. Battle for the rebound. And they're going to call a loose ball foul here. As, yeah, as, yeah no, no. <laughs> Kelly, I'll definitely go push him. Yeah. yeah, I know, but it's just a shame that we got to foul Kelly on rebound battles, man. I mean, <laughs> come on, guys. What's going on? I mean, he did have good position, though. I got to give him that. He had good position against Nico. Yeah. Oh, boy. As we got quickly gets the inbound here, he's going to get a screen from Trent. He dumps it down to Kelly. Yo, in traffic. I don't know how Kelly came up with that. And they're going to call out of bounds on the heat as Jaime ripped it out of his hands. So that was a nice little action right there. As uh, quickly got a ghost screen from Kelly. Yo, and then he got an actual screen from Gary Trent. Inbound Bruce Brown in the game. And quickly, off the jumper, he gets fouled. He's going to get two free throws. Come on, guys. We love fouling shooters, man. He's just a simple contest. I don't know why dudes are so desperate. You, if if somebody makes a tough shot on you, I, I mean, that's the game. Yeah, just live with it. Like. <laughs> and, and quickly, he's going to get two at the line here. Bruce Brown, former Miami Hurricane. He's in the game back in Miami, as we know how he likes playing in Miami as well. Quickly knocks down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. Hey, Milwaukee brought himself back. But well, they're down by one now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the first quarter still. As we got a couple of substitutions here for the Raptors, we got Malik Williams. He enters the game for uh, Kelly O. And also... We got, um, I believe that's Javante Freeman Liberty. He enters the game as well. He's out of DePaul. And uh, Malik Williams, he played at Louisville under Chris Mack, I believe. As uh, quickly knocked down both free throws, 19-15 game. Heat ahead. Jaime with the ball. Gives it off to Tyler. Tyler working off the screen. Picks up his dribble. Finds Nico. Nico to Caleb. Caleb attacks. He goes baseline. Finds Jaime. Jaime to Tyler. Tyler. Gives it off to Nico. Nico, wide open catch and shoot. Nico knocks it down. Nico knocks down the trade ball, makes it a 22-15 lead for Miami, up seven. Let's get some more stops and let's get a double-digit lead here. Timeout again. And quickly he's confused at his coach here. He's like, we ain't going nowhere, coach. Let's just play. Yeah. <laughs> 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 let's take a timeout, man. <laughs> this guy is slowing the game again. down, bro. Oh, good. Yeah, and I don't get it. You just made a substitution. The other mm -hmm. team literally just only just scored. Like, what do you really need to talk about? 
<laughs> I, I have I have no idea, man. I have no idea what's going on with that. But hey, man, whatever makes him feel better. I guess he, you know, he he feels like he's coaching until the end, yeah. which he is. Though I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, his name is Darko Rajakovic. Okay. Darko Rajakovic. Nice. What happened? Uh, I just flipped over to the uh, Cleveland Indiana game, and Miles mm -hmm. Turner just caught a dead body. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> just posted the hell out of uh, Mobley, bro. And yeah. Mobley tried to take, yeah, Mobley tried to take a charge. And Turner said, I don't give a damn about your choice. Wait, so it was an and one? <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's crazy, that man. That is a tough break, man. That is a tough break. Shit. So, and here's the thing on how we could get the fifth seed, which is absolutely crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, if Indiana lose their last two, yep. and Orlando lose their last two, yep. and Philly loses Philly against one. the Nets, Mm -hmm. one, yeah, one, but, you know, obviously, if they if they lose to Orlando, then the Magic can't lose their last two. So, like, yeah. so they will have to lose against the Nets, and we win both these games. We're the fifth seed. <laughs> oh. Hey, anything can happen. Like I said, look at Cam Thomas. All we need, basically, is an explosive game for Cam Thomas against Philly. I'm talking mm -hmm. about nuclear. And the game is in but, Philly, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we got so. Mikel Bridges coming back to Philly. Remember, he played college ball at Nova. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? All we need is a crazy game from these dudes. Just still a game. But it, looks like, it looks like Cam Thomas is having this crazy game tonight, man. <laughs> I guess well, yeah, well, I hope it carries over. It's a lot of people to yo, defend on. I'm not going to lie, y'all. And B is fucked up. Why? Yo, the first, look. They played the other game. The other day. I forgot who they played against the other day. Was it against D Detroit or some shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I saw a replay. This guy's leg fully buckled on him. He stayed in the game, and then just now he's limping against the Magic. All right, Embiid, bro. <laughs> okay, buddy. As Akbaji, he stumbles, a little slip and slide. He gives it off to Trent. And Trent skips it all the way to the corner to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown attacks the closeout, throws up a floater. He gets it to go. That's fundamentals right there. Attacking the bad closeout, blow by floater. And he makes it a 22-17 lead for Miami. He's got Caleb Highsmith coming off the bench. And Nico Jovic, he gets hit in the face here. They're going to call a foul. Let's see if they review it to see if it was malicious. I don't think so, but these refs, who knows? Mm -hmm. And Bruce Brown, he can call himself an NBA champion. Mm -hmm. So I, I respect championships, but I don't go too crazy about him because he's a champion and Jimmy isn't. So what does it mean? As we got Tyler Hero, he's being guarded by Freeman Liberty. And Tyler Hero almost carries. He finds K-Love in the corner. K-Love corner three, no good. And rebound Malik Williams. Malik Williams gives it off to Bruce Brown. And Bruce Brown, let's see what he does. He got two on him. He skips it over to the corner. Freeman Liberty to Trent. Trent Jr. weaving through. He turns around, throws up a shot. That's off. Rebound, K-Love. K-Love gives it off to Tyler. Tyler Hero, let's see what he does here. He has a left-hand dribble. Getting a screen. Finds K-Love. K-Love's going to hand it back to Tyler. Tyler curls off of it. Move Tyler picks board, up his dribble. Man. Finds K-Love back door. And K-Love with an acrobatic layup. He gets it to go. Three other guys on your team, and the only dude you pass it to is Kane. Oh, it works out, got, but come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy, Bruce Brown, he's being guarded by Nico, and Nico's defense is really improved here. Bruce Brown, though, nice blow by, and he gets a layup. 24 19 lead for the Miami Heat. We got 230 left in the first quarter. Tyler Hero with the ball being guarded by Freeman Liberty. Crossover dribble into a hesitation. Finds K Love. K Love to Nico. Nico. He had a three or a layup, but he finds That's Tyler good. for three, and Tyler knocks it down. Yeah, it didn't we call that, that yeah. that play is, I guess it worked out. That's what I call that. I guess it yeah, worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Nico should have laid that up, man. Just go yeah. up. We got Malik Williams here 
gives it off to Bruce Brown. He's going to set a screen for Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown finds Malik Williams. Malik Williams, turnaround jumper. He's short. Rebound Tyler Hero. We got K-Love trailing. Let's see how Tyler plays it. He gives it to K-Love trailing. And K-Love, he's going to hand it off to Tyler. Tyler back to K-Love and playing a two-man game right here. K-Love finds Highsmith. Highsmith to Nico. And Nico, he settles in for a three. He's off. Trent with the rebound. And Trent with the ball, guarded by Jaime. Trent skips it over to the corner. Freeman Liberty three ball. He air balls. Rebound K-Love as Nico didn't want to open three, but he sure wants the contested ones. Mm -hmm. As we got Jaime in the post, and Jaime bailed out with a foul call. He bounced the ball mm -hmm. off his foot. Jaime's dribbling has went down, man. He needs to take his time, man. As I said, he keeps backing down before he's even got the like got a handle of the ball. It's crazy to watch. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely gonna have to work on some things in the off season. Literally, literally, you see him throw the shoulder, then put the ball on the floor, and it's like, bro, it's the other way around. It's, it's literally the other way around. <laughs> yeah, we got the long right in the game. He checks in before that. Patty yeah, Mills, yeah. but he couldn't play against two dynamic guards. <sighs> wow. But he has to play against Sorry Austin. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't it's just as uh the Heat are in a bonus here. Jimmy's gonna get two free throws on that off ball foul. I thought they could have um uh moving screen. Because Jimmy Jimmy didn't even Jimmy didn't even budge. The other guy fell. So I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> moving screen. Yeah, I saw the Heat players too calm. I thought it was moving screen too, but I saw mm. that they were too calm. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Nine-point lead for the Miami Heat. Jimmy's going to try to make it a 10-point lead. About 110 left in this first quarter. Jimmy got six points. Perfect from the field. Perfect from the line. Makes it a 10-point lead for Miami. R.J. Barrett checks back into the game. He's going to take it across half court. R.J. Barrett finds Freeman Liberty who finds Malik Williams, who's going to give it back to Freeman Liberty. 10 on the shot clock. They got to go to work here. Bruce Brown with the ball. He's in triple threat. Now he's trying to attack. Good help defense by Kevin Love. Bruce Brown finds R.J. Barrett in the corner, and they're going to call out of bounds. Or is that a three offense of three seconds? No, I think, no, I think um, was, it, uh, was it out of bounds or was it three seconds? Yeah, that was a tough one. I got the audio down, but I think it probably hit baseline on, on Bruce Brown's pass attempt. Oh. As we got Highsmith with a floater, he gets it to go. Highsmith attacking the lane and throwing up a floater, he gets it to go. And now R.J. Barrett here, he's going to get an and one. R.J. Barrett, a slow-moving attack. He's able to focus and get the and one. I'd like to see the replay. Let me see what happened here. Where's the reach? Where's the reach? I mean, I guess. I guess, man. I think they could have contact on Jaime. Yeah. But still, man, if you get if, uh, when you when you hear the whistle, don't stop with the contest, man. Just fucking block Yeah, it. exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what I don't get. They just let up and let the guy get an easy look. <laughs> I mean, they called a foul on you already. You might as well play through it, too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Daryl, he's out of jail. As a uh, heat up nine, Jimmy's going to inbound here. He's going to give it to K-Love, and they're going to call a foul. Oh, no, no foul. I thought, I thought the ref signaled a foul, and now there's a Who foul. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, they call him yeah, foul on K-Love. Yeah. yeah, so K-Love's going to get two free throws. Yeah. I think that was a makeup. Mm. Maybe they'll let Thomas Bryant out of jail. I, yeah, I was just about to say, Lucy. I was just about to say. I'm praying on it, right? Two, game, two games of the season left, man. Yeah. <laughs> they got to let him lose this game. Are, are you crazy? Do you forget who our coach is? <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah, him in jail man, forever it's until crazy. Next season. Every game I'm seeing these no name big men from other teams get playing time. Exactly. And Thomas Bryant exactly. can't even sniff the court against them. Like it's not even like they're named guys, bro. Yeah, yeah like we yeah. shouldn't even need Bam against guys like Malik Williams. I mean, you know, these are we guys shouldn't. trying to prove themselves in the league, bro. Like, really? 
Ooh. As we got RJ Barrett, he's going to wind down the clock. Heat up 11, 10 seconds on the clock. And RJ finds Freeman Liberty. And Freeman Liberty, he launches a three. He misses it. The long right with the rebound. He's going to throw it up. He's even from half court. And he almost hits it. Oh, no. <laughs> the long right almost hit that full court shot. But that's the end of the first quarter. Heat up 11. We got three more quarters that. to go. Just got to finish off. Imagine that he missed all his uh, other threes, but he make that, but he makes this one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Orlando's uh, getting their teeth kicked in right now. But and beat yo, and beat only got one leg right now. I'm telling you, his knee or his leg is a ticking time bomb. It's, like it's, his whole body is a ticking time bomb, man. Every season, like that's that's why until until they get out of the second round, bro, I'm not giving I'm not giving them beat no credit, like. And most yeah. of the time, it's his teammates that get him out the first round. So, yeah. <clears throat> Even last year, when he won the MVP, uh, yeah, when he won the MVP trophy, which he's been bitching about like for two years now, <laughs> he came out. He came out in that first series flat, and then he came, and then uh, apparently he got injured. Like, <sighs> Jesus. Oh boy! But he's back from an in well. I can't even say he he don't have an excuse now because he's back from an injury. So hey, if he goes down again, well, you already know what they're gonna say. <clears throat> all right! All right! All right! Everything all right? Everybody okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we so chilling, far, man. Yeah. Just damn MB trying, trying to get it done. Damn MB done injured damn knee again. He done went went out the game. That curse ass out. <laughs> look oh against Detroit. Y'all need to go look at that clip, man. I'm telling y'all, it was a play. He was trying to save a loose ball or something. It looked like his left leg exploded. I don't know how he came back into the game. I gotta give the motherfucker credit, man. He's 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 really dragging that leg and carrying on, but I think he's putting his career on the line. Here's the reason why. Outside noise, and he's feeling the pressure. Mm -hmm. Every year he's hurt. Every year, and he's no, just uh I'm talking about right now against magic. He just yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's 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 yeah. oh he back in the game? Oh, okay. See. But he trying to force it. He yeah, shouldn't he got... be back in the game. <laughs> but hey, man, do do what they need to do. Cause he was, yeah, he came down wrong. And okay, he's gonna be back in the game. Yeah, but like you said, that that peer pressure is a mugger, boy. Yep. Cause cause I don't even think he should be playing. I don't, I don't either, think but so either. Philly Philly's trying to avoid a losing season, and literally they will. Terrible without him. Uh, As we got Freeman Liberty, he goes straight in for a layup, cuts the lead to nine. We got the long right with the ball here. The long right gives it off to K Love. K Love to Jimmy. Jimmy back to K Love. And K Love picks up his dribble. He fires up a three. He's off. Rebound Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown takes it across half court. Bruce Brown crossover move. And Bruce Brown. They're going to call a foul here. Look like he traveled, but they're going to say the contact made him travel. And are they going to give him a, a, a shot attempt for a two free throws? Wow, he's going to get two free throws out of this, too. He went from a travel to two free throws. That's not bad. <laughs> As he knocks down the first one, he got one more on the way. I mean, he got to be careful here. Can't let this team linger around. Can't let this team linger around, man. Bruce Brown goes two for two. Makes it a seven-point game, 33-26 lead for Miami. We're just on the way in this second quarter. Jaime Jaquez trying to attack here. He throws up a layup off the glass. He gets it to go. Jaime Jaquez with a difficult layup. He's able to locate that square, and he gets it to fall. Barrett, look like Barrett doubled there. Barrett with a hook. And he gets a left-hand layup to go. So it looked like two violations from Barrett. He might have doubled, and he might have hooked Jimmy for offensive foul. No call either way. He gets the layup, 
And here comes Jimmy. He got Bruce Brown on him. Jimmy skips it over to K-Love. K-Love, top of the key three. K-Love knocks it down. Ten-point lead for the Miami Heat off of that three ball from K-Love, assisted by Jimmy. Freeman Liberty with the ball now. Freeman Liberty trying to go off the bounce. He attacks Jimmy. He goes up for a left-hand layup. He throws it up. He doesn't hit nothing but backboard. Here comes Highsmith. Highsmith behind the back. Finds K-Love. K-Love trail man three. K-Love, he's off. And they're going to call a loose ball foul here on the Raptors. Jimmy was fighting for that rebound, got held down. They're going to stay with Miami. As we see on this replay right here, Jimmy knew he had to go to work. He finds K-Love off the double, and K-Love knocks it down. You got K-Love on the inbound. He finds Jimmy. Jimmy to Highsmith. Highsmith. Let's see what he does here. Finds K-Love. Three seconds on the shot clock. And Jimmy got to go to work here. And he passed it last second. And they're going to call a shot clock violation. Jimmy should have scored that. Mm -hmm. Or tried to score. Highsmith knocked down the three. But it was just .2 seconds after the buzzer. And Jimmy should have been aware of the time. And should have shot that. As Jimmy's coughing. He looks sick. We got Bruce Brown giving the ball to Barrett. And Barrett gives it off to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown's going to line up a three. He knocks it down. Nothing but net. He makes this a four, uh, a seven-point game. My apologies. 38-31. Off of that Bruce Brown triple. Jimmy Butler gives it off to Kevin Love. Kevin Love finds Jimmy. Jimmy guarded by Freeman Liberty. Jimmy in triple threat. Jimmy trying to blow by. Jimmy picks up his dribble. Jimmy swings it over to K-Love. Four on the shot clock. Another late clock situation again for the Heat. K-Love takes a deep step back three. Air ball. Shot clock violation again. Back-to-back -back shot clock violations by the Miami Heat. And we call that pathetic. Wow. You can't get a shot off in 24 seconds against Toronto. As we got Bruce Brown behind the back dribble. Picks up his dribble. Finds Barrett. Barrett guarded by Highsmith. Barrett trying to attack. He gets Stonewall. Better, you better think twice, RJ. As Barrett finds a cutting Grady Dick. Grady Dick smokes the layup. Offensive rebound Malik Williams to Freeman Liberty to Brown to Barrett. Three ball. Barely skims the rim. Out of bounds. Heat ball. Good ball moving by Toronto. Barrett barely skims the rim. Freeman Liberty tried to save. Couldn't do it. Ball's going to go over to the Miami Heat. As the long right with the ball. Come on, let's get some early, early move, early movement in the shot clock. Let's go. As Jaime trying to go downhill. Jaime finds Jimmy. Jimmy goes up right away, and Jimmy gets the layup to go. We don't gotta burn the whole shot clock like we're in a two-minute drill in football. Just play the game, bruh. This got Malik Williams with the ball. He gives it off to Freeman Liberty. Freeman Liberty gives it off to Bruce Brown, who lines up a three. He knocks it down again. Same spot, same result, none but net. He makes it a two-possession ball game. 40-34 lead for Miami. Jimmy with the ball, trying to work on Bruce Brown here. Now he has a live dribble. And Grady Dick, he's showing help from the baseline. Jimmy barrels his way through, finds DeLon, who finds Highsmith. Highsmith, step back three ball. He knocks it down. Highsmith with a step back three, trying to add some things to his repertoire, I see. as Freeman mm -hmm. Liberty. He's looking, picks up his dribble, finds Grady Dick. Grady Dick being guarded by Jaime. And Jaime knocks the ball out of bounds. It's going to stay with Toronto. They got 11 on that shot clock. And if you see the space Highsmith had, he didn't even have to pump fake and do the step back. He had enough space to launch it. But I guess he wasn't comfortable. Nine-point lead for the Heat. Yeah, probably didn't like the close up. So we got Barrett on the inbounds here. Quickly is back in the game, and Barrett turns the ball over, and he fouls Jaime. And that's a bad job by Akbaji of sealing. You have to seal, man. You can't let the defender come through you like that. Jaime's able to take advantage, get the steal. Here comes Jimmy, who gives it off to Jaime. Jaime's attacking. Jaime gets all the way to the lane. Jaime gets a layup. Good job by Jaime Hawkins. He forces a turnover one end. 
and then he makes the layup on the other good physical drive north and south 22 pay, uh points in the paint for the heat early and the raptors turn the ball over again good ball pressure and again more stops more points blowout yo as we got jimmy with the ball now jimmy guarded by akbaji jimmy hands it off to jaime and jaime with a nice crossover move into a hesitation he finds highsmith corner three highsmith in and out didn't want to fall that's a good play by miami unfortunate, mm, unfortunate man unfortunate result As we got barrett barrett gives it off to bruce brown bruce brown's trying to work off the dribble he finds quickly quickly attacking quickly picks up his dribble steps through off of the pump fake and that's a nifty move by quickly he got highsmith on his feet and just stepped through him for a nice little floater didn't have Jimmy, to man because he yeah he was contesting it well as well yep and Jaime oh, knocks down a three ball. This is a good sign if Jaime could wake up and keep the game simple. Catch and shoot, defend, drive. You don't got to over dribble. Just keep it simple. As we got quickly attacking again, he finds Malik Williams, who finds Barrett. Barrett dumps it down to Malik Williams. Malik Williams can't handle the ball. Gets deflected by DeLon, stolen by Jaime. Jaime pushing the pace. Jaime throws alley oop to Bam. And Bam with a slam. He gives the Heat a 14-point lead. Timeout, Darko. The Raptors want to talk some things over. This is what you got to do, man. Take advantage of, of your matchups. Mm -hmm. And we score watching over here to see what's going down. Orlando's mm -hmm. still getting their teeth <laughs> kicked in. Yeah. Oh, you Indiana's just losing, too. That's a good sign as well. Just missed a, a, a huge disrespectful block by uh, Embiid. Um... Oh good! I actually, I literally forgot what happened. <laughs> I think some, I think someone's shot. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Wait, did uh, Embiid get blocked or he blocked? Somebody? No, no, he blo he blocked someone. Um, okay. Wagner tried to force his way into the paint from the baseline by banging yeah. into Embiid, but Embiid pulled the chair on him. <laughs> Wagner, <laughs> Wagner was starting to fall down, so he uh, kicked out to Fultz. Fultz yeah. drived into the into the paint to slam it. Embiid was there and just said, "Nope." Listen, uh, <laughs> not, not happening <laughs> that's crazy oh, bro God. yo salute wavy salute melvin apon design salute appreciate wavy, all y'all being here don't forget hit hit that like button on your way in to be or not to be that is the question salute yeah so far so good i'm liking these scores right now if they hold up man i'm telling you that sunday is gonna be crazy man i'm telling you what well, they, they hold up except except oh. except the knicks i need the knicks to you know like to turn things around that's for sure what's that maybe i was uh, late that, that game the next game mm. Mm. who they playing um they're playing brooklyn What's up, April Design Salute, Melbourne, everybody? They're playing who? Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, yeah. Only down by nine though. Uh, which is uh, uh, which is decent considering they started off the game 24 to 9. So. Well. <laughs> I, need, I need Sixers win tonight. And I need Brooklyn win uh Sunday. I don't need them win tonight. I need them win Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Brooklyn need... gotta win Sunday, no doubt. <laughs> And, and um and the magic gotta lose Sunday. Magic gotta lose tonight and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And Brooklyn beat uh Sixers Sunday. But that's Brooklyn. why, but that's why we need the Knicks to win tonight. So Milwaukee, they're gonna play, you know, Dame and their starters to 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 beat Orlando on Sunday. Because if the Knicks lose tonight and then Milwaukee got that number two seed locked up, they probably gonna play, you know, what I mean, like they whole bench um against orlando oh, okay yep mm -hmm. but let's just get our rhythm down man get in the groove man and just go wherever we at just win get in the playoff man go from there that's it as they call a foul on highsmith here quickly with a drive i thought it was good defense the refs thought otherwise <laughs> Looks like quickly he's gonna get two free throws out of this. Mm. 
And quickly knocks down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. And quickly, second free throw is up and good. Heat up a dozen. Six minutes left in the half. <clears throat> and the last 10 games, Raptors is 2-8. and eight. They're stumbling to the finish line right here. And there's no surprise. Their team in transition right now. Bam with the ball being guarded by Kelly O. And Bam, they're going to call a foul here off the ball. I think so. <coughs> We're going to get a sideline out of bounds here. Inbound Caleb to Tyler. Tyler's working off of Bam screen. He finds Bam. Bam with a mid-range shot and rolls off the rim. And Bam and Bam might as well start going glass now. As we got Gary Trent. Gary Trent back there quickly. And quickly trying to work on Highsmith. He finds Akbaji. Akbaji attacks baseline. Finds Kelly O. Kelly O in the mid-range. He knocks it down. Kelly Olenek back in Miami. Knocks down the mid-range jumper. Cuts the lead to 10. Here comes Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin gives it off to Bam. It's already 15 on the shot clock. Miami Heat just got to go with early offense here. And Tyler Hero pump fakes. He gets Gary Trent flying by him. He misses the three. Bam. He gets the putback. He gets that to go. That's a good bucket. Good hustle bucket by Bam. 52-40 lead for the Miami Heat. Quickly. So Olenek. Olenek back to quick. And quickly, he got bam switch on him. Kentucky versus Kentucky. Let's see what quickly tries to do here. And quickly, he has nowhere to go. He finds Trent. Trent, little mid-range jumper, is off. Bam with the rebound. Bam to Jaime. Jaime to Caleb. Caleb to Bam. Bam to Highsmith. Highsmith. Oh, he tried to weave through traffic there. They're going to call a reaching foul on Toronto. Ball stays with the Miami Heat. Let me see what wave you talking about. Well, yeah, it's because the Bulls, like, they resting everybody. But I still understand what you're saying, though, Wavy. You know, I, I, I get it. I mean, right now it's the bottom of the barrel. You know, everybody playing their, like, third string and shit. It's Tyler Hero. They're going to call a foul here on Gary Trent. So now the Heat's in the bonus right here. So Tyler, he should get two free throws. So Heat in the bonus with about 432 left in his half. I mean... Keep being aggressive. Why not? Indiana's still losing. Yeah, Indiana's still team. losing. Yep. Um, Orlando's getting getting their ass kicked even worse than before. <laughs> and Nick's coming back. Uh, D Master. Hey, tell you, man. Sunday's gonna be crazy. <laughs> hey, man. I'm a hey on Sunday. I'm a Cam Thomas and 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 Nets fan on Sunday because. And also the Bucks. I need Doc Rivers to do his thing. I need Dame to light it up. I need Dame to do his thing. Cause I know we're gonna take care of business against Toronto if we worth a damn. Um yeah, Sunday's gonna be crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And who? Oh, Atlanta got nothing to play for, so Indiana yeah. might win the Atlanta game. Damn. Yeah. <sighs> well, Whatever. actually, I think I think Murray's trying to get out of Atlanta, so they might win that one. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Because like, he... oh, No, 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 you good? Oh, I was just going to say, um, because, yeah, Atlanta's already talked about, like, going through a rebuild process <laughs> with everyone, like, accessible except for Trey Young. Mm, interesting. So. That's Caleb. He knocks down the top of the key three. He makes it a 17-point lead. He's on a 7-0 run in about a minute of playing time, minute 20 or so. Up 17. More stops. More scores, please. As we got quickly, he finds Bruce Brown. Man, Bruce Brown tried to go back. Though I don't know what Kelly Olenek read there. And that's going to be heat ball after the, off the turnover. And as we see Jaime, Jaime drew a crowd. He's able to pass out of it. Not the best pass. Caleb had to really reach down and catch it. But he's still able to focus up and knock down the three, as we see right there. That was a difficult pass in, in the air.
Because we got Tyler. Tyler dumps it down to Bam. Bam with a quick face up attack. And Bam almost throws it out of bounds. Tyler with a catch. Corner three. He's off. And rebound Bear. I thought Bam should have been aggressive there. Grady Dick to Kelly O. Kelly O stops. Picks up his dribble. Passes it to Barrett. Barrett barrels his way in. He smokes the layup. But Kelly O's right there for the putback lay. Kelly O hustling his ass off. That's, that's what he's known for. A veteran out of Gonzaga. He's been doing it for a while now. Over a decade in the league. We getting old. Here comes Jaime. Jaime turnaround jumper. Jaime misses it. Rebound Kelly O. He finds quickly. Quickly pulls up from deep. He misses it. Rebound Jaime. Hey, man. <laughs> they ain't going to to play for us. So, you know, they're just going to do what they do. Bam, top of the key three. Bam, knocks it down. Nothing but net. Look at that form by Bam. Yeah, Bam, just shoot threes and, like, dunk. Because you're mid or, or not a floater. The floater from close is good, too. As yeah, quickly yeah. blow by, quickly gets blocked. Jaime with the ball. Heat up 18. And they're running in transition now. Jaime, he dumps it down to Bam. Bam finds Caleb. Caleb back to Bam. Bam, spins, loses the ball. He ain't got no thumbs. He gets it back. Bam to Caleb. Caleb lines up a three. He's off. Rebound Kelly O. Here comes Gary Trent now. Yo, salute Tamar. Here comes Gary Trent to Kelly O. Kelly O again, another misread on a backdoor cut. He turns it over again. Here comes Caleb now. No numbers. Slow it down. It's a team comeback. Crossover move. He gives it off to Nico. Nico lines up a three. Nico's off. Rebound Grady oh. Dick. Why are we settling for threes, man? It don't matter. At least we're winning. <laughs> no, just, 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 uh, but this is, this, D Master, no, this, it don't matter right now, D Master. No, but this is what leads to them coming back, though. Stupid settle, shot. And then, settle, man. We, and then we start, we start missing. And then <laughs> they start making their shot. And then we, when we want to make a shot, we can't make a shot. Like, just, see, just see what, just see a two go in. Like, there's nothing wrong with a two. Nothing wrong with you. But as you said, well, you know, so can't complain. And Bill, New York came all the way back, man. Oh, they're tired. Well, I don't know what you see about me. I feel like they're tired right now. Who the? Oh, the team. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're expecting uh, Toronto to call a timeout sooner, but they just didn't. Did you see that statue they gave Island Iverson? Oh, that was so disres that was that was so disrespectful. It, it's not me, right? It, Wait, isn't that like so a small. prototype though? Nope, that's yeah, the actual no, statue. No, I think that's the actual statue. Nah, I no mean, way, I know no he way. cried and everything, but I I mean that was I expected disgusting. something better. It was that so was small. pitiful. <laughs> that was pitiful. There's the yeah. There's no way that's the actual statue for AI, it can't bro. Be, man. It, no, I'm telling, I'm telling you, he unveiled it outside he, of the arena, and it that's it. You know that's what literally wow. gets me is that he's so grateful for it. Like you can see how humble he is, but damn, he deserves something better than that. If I was, a, if I was a Philly AI fan, bro, I'm, I'm calling up the, I'm calling up the office and saying, yo, you don't need to redo this statue, man, because this is yeah. just pitiful. Wow. This is I pitiful. Mean. The same, the same uh, city that has a statue of Charles Barkley, FYI. Just saying, and I. Believe, they got a statue of Charles Barkley. Yeah, and I believe AI is more beloved in Philly than Charles Barkley. I could be wrong. Nah, but easily he's he's it, he's, he's easily yes. more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't understand that at all. And yeah, that's the statue they gave AI. Yeah. <laughs> that's this crazy. Might actually, this might actually prove even further that the league really didn't like AI.
Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't expect them to do AI like that, but hey, it is it is what it is. It's RJ Barrett. He misses the first free throw. He got one more coming up. Didn't even know they gave him a foul. Mm. And, and RJ Barrett knocks down the second free throw. Makes it a 17 point deficit for the Raptors. Tyler Hero with the ball. Tyler Hero's gonna hand it off to Nico. Nico to Bam. See what Bam does with the ball here. He's being pressured by Kelly O. He throws it up to Nico. Nico pump fakes. He gets an easy layup. Good read by Bam. Good catch and finish by Nico. Bam took his time. He was able to find Nico down low. As we got Gary Trent handed off to quickly. About 115 left in his half. Jimmy comes over for a double team. And R.J. Barrett is able to take advantage of it. Kelly Hill finds him for a layup. Here comes Jimmy. Jimmy with the ball. Jimmy attacks. Jimmy finds Tyler. Tyler at the top of the key gets a screen from Bam. Bam rolls. Tyler finds Caleb. Caleb attacks. Caleb finds Bam. Bam goes up with a slam. Good ball moving by Miami. That's how, that's how you got to play. I don't care who the opponent is. I call this practice. As we got quickly, quickly to Barrett. Barrett's trying to attack here. He finds Grady Dick. Grady Dick lines up a three. He knocks it down. A 64-48 lead for the Miami Heat with 35 seconds left. Will they go two for one? Tick, 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 tick. And don't go for a two for one no more. Here comes Jimmy Butler with the ball. Jimmy Butler. He's about to have 10 seconds on the shot clock like how he loves it. And he finds Nico. What a nifty pass right there. He's able to find Nico down low for an easy layup. As we got quickly, with 10 seconds left in the half, Raptors down 18. Let's see what quickly does here. Picks up his dribble. He finds Barrett. Barrett with a pump fake. Attack. Barrett. He throws up a shot. He gets it to go. He's going to make it a 16-point deficit here at half point six. And Jimmy's going to conserve his three-point percentage. <laughs> and the Heat going to half. Absolutely rolling right now. Up 16. And this third quarter, I wanted to reach about 25 to 30 so we could play these other guys, man. Seriously, man. It's 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 Toronto, Spool. Please, bro. Play some other life, guys, dog. Running these dudes into the ground, bro. Exactly. Fucking hey, man. Uh, the Knicks took the lead, yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's you know that's what we need. And then on Sunday, it's gonna show me a lot, like to see how much of like cowards Milwaukee is. If they don't play, <laughs> it, if they if they really run from that number two seed, it's gonna be too obvious. And I don't know what they're running to. Every like yo, they got no easy matchup without Giannis, so I don't mm -hmm. know where they running to. Let's see what the score is looking like. Orlando battling back those bastards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not, well that's still down by 10, aren't they? Let's see what's going on. Yeah, oh, nine now. Yeah. Destroyed. Let's see. Who's playing right now for Atlanta? Let me see what they got. They got Murray, <laughs> Bogdanovich, yeah. Trey Young, Capella. Okay, they kind of helped you a little bit. Towns back. Colbert's working on a double double in the first half. Anthony Edwards is a no show. He got four fouls in the first half on discipline. Hmm. Yeah, that kid has a lot to do before he proves anything to me. He has a whole that? bunch to do. Um, uh, they Anthony said, Edwards, you know. They said the scoreboard is um, frozen. Yeah, <laughs> still said four. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, who 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 you said need to prove something to you, nephew? Uh, Anthony Anthony Edwards. All these all these dudes that they crowned in early and stuff like that. You know, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To me. I mean, yeah, the kid got talent, but I'm not I'm not crowning these dudes yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's that's how they do. It, it's like now all of a sudden, you know, because they hate Clippers now. All of a sudden. Uh, Dallas Mavericks is the greatest thing since water. So, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, they it's all just, it's, they all believe in funny. Kyrie now. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, everybody loves Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, you you can't make you can't make it up, bro. Yep, yep. They were saying Luca can't play no defense now. You know now Luca's going. You know, you know, going to do all this in the playoff. Look, man. It's gonna be a decent series, man. But I got the Clippers winning that series, man. Look, now it's gonna be a dark fight because Luca and Kyrie they have the talent to give Dallas a couple games, but it's not gonna be enough in a seven game series. You exactly. know, hey, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we will see. You know, this whole playoffs is a we will see. A lot of it's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of trash talking amongst you know opposition, man. And it is what it is. You know, it's going to be some that's going to be able to talk trash and it's going to be some that got to take the trash talking or they could tuck their tail and hide like most of them do. But it's just funny to me how everybody all of a sudden love a team because you hate the other team. What's up, 305? What's up, Mr. Mara? D. Mike and everybody who came in while I was out. But it's just funny to me that, you know, because they don't like the other team. Mm -hmm. How they quickly jump on, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, but this is, you know, I mean, like we know how it is with that, you know, with with how they do us. See, they're so desperate to prove that the Clippers are frauds and Pop George and Harden, they frauds. They so desperate to be right about that narrative. Right. right. Anybody Clippers play against is going to be the best thing since since water and like any team. It could have been Pelicans. It could have been any team that was playing against the Clippers. All of a sudden, they're going to be so great. You know, so it is It is what it is, man. What's up, Miss James? Salute, salute, salute. And Not 305 yet. said he heard MB got hurt. I mean, I'm hey, man. He's just trying to drag that leg, man. That shit's going to pop on him, man. Yep. He too heavy. Too he heavy, too heavy man. Hey, Fontaine, it might, it might end up being $8. <laughs> yeah, it might end up being $8, bum. I told you y'all bums, bro. 10th seed. Man, come on, man. <laughs> Yo, salute, Florida born. What's up, Florida born? Everybody who came in. Sunday's Sunday's game, they're really they're really gonna be something, man. Sunday, everybody play, all thirty teams play. That's gonna be something, man. They got seven. What they got? Eight. How many they got? Oh, but I think the entire East is playing at one o'clock. I think the entire East is playing at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, the entire, I think the West playing at three thirty. Everybody in the West playing at three thirty. That and was crazy how they set that up. And here's and here's what's even more crazy. Look, 
if all these scores hold up, right? The 76ers beat the Magic, that's a check. New York beat Brooklyn, that's a check. Cleveland beat Indiana, that's a check. And Thunder beat Milwaukee, that's a check. So on Sunday, Milwaukee, they going to play Orlando to beat them. So if Milwaukee beats Orlando, that's the check we need. That's two losses for Orlando. Now, right. okay, so that's out the way. Now we need Cam Thomas and them young boys from Brooklyn to have the game of their lives on Sunday. And then, A, remember now, and B's hurt so they could beat Philly on Sunday. So that's another check. And we handle business against Toronto. Guess who we at? Six yep, C. six C. Yep. Now, I don't think Atlanta's going to beat Indiana in Indiana because I think Atlanta, they already 10 seed. You feel me like solidified, so they might rest their guys and not play nobody against it. So I'm not worried about the fifth seed. I mean, if Indiana lose to a, 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 a G League Atlanta, then we'll take the fifth seed because in a four-way tie, even though Indiana got the tiebreaker with us, it's going to be a four-way tie. We would jump them for the fifth seed because – we got a better, I think, a division or division. a conference thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I think it go by a division, don't it? Yeah, exactly. So Sunday could be crazy. Cause those G Leaguers for Atlanta, it's 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 the last game of the season. You know, so those guys could play the best game of their lives that last game. That's what I'm saying for Brooklyn to beat Philly. Anything can happen. It's NBA guys out there, man. Like you can't. Man, that fifth seed, I'm telling you, it can happen. Now, I'm more worried about the sixth seed because we just worried about Philly and, and, and obviously Orlando to see if if now we're going to yeah, learn a lot about me. Milwaukee too. If Milwaukee, if they sit out they, they guys because they want to avoid the the two seed, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so they don't have to play us or Philly or whoever. Right. You know, that can happen too now. So... <laughs> Uh man, they might give Orlando the game and say, you know what, F this. Man, that number two seed don't look as good as y'all motherfuckers think it is if we if we got to sit here and play Miami or Philly. Yeah. The crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, like I said, yeah, uh, how bad we play all year and even recently. Yeah. I mean, it take a, it might take a miracle, but the fact that even a miracle, we still can get fifth seed. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's, what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it, the, it's still the possibility is there. I'll mm -hmm. say it again, and it ain't me being negative. I'm just going with the percentage of how things work out for us. Exactly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just the fact to know that we can get the fifth seed. So what I'm saying, I'm saying what that said about the other teams. <laughs> they damn near played just as bad as us. If they yeah. can lose where they at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You feel me? Because they ain't solidified either. If they got to keep winning even with the last two games. Yeah. They ain't been doing, they ain't been doing as great as motherfuckers try to make them out to be. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yo, salute, uh, G Coalition. Yeah, not at all, man. You know, despite all the up and downs of the of the regular season, they said, you know, what I mean, like we garbage at home and this and that, yep. and you know, what I mean, we still literally right there. You know, what I mean, just just a couple of games that's, and then it's a couple of games you know, against the teams that that's that's so praised this season for having a great season. They only a couple of games ahead. <laughs> I mean, you know, they saying we having such a crappy season. These other teams having such a great season for their standards, but yet they only a couple of games ahead of us. <clears throat> exactly. Make that make sense. But it comes, that's the territory comes with the hate and don't want to see us, you know, <clears throat> It's more fear. It's more fear than anything with to me. That's what it is to me. It's more fear than anything. They literally sitting back hoping we get knocked out. 
don't make it. They don't have to play us first round or whatever. That's what all that shit is. Yeah, the Hornets, That's yeah, true. they call it a season, boy. They getting, they getting their ass kicked. Right now, Boston, Boston playing, they, they bench, they kicking their ass. Yeah, Hornets, yeah, they 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 need a new direction, man, because what they doing, it ain't working. You know what I mean? Like they brought back a coach they fired. You know, the kid's not really responding to them. Yeah, Hornets, Hornets need a new direction. It's tough for them. It's been the same lottery motherfuckers these past few seasons. Wizards, Pistons, Hornets. Yep. And I will say this, that, because I don't know what's going to happen with um, – Sacramento tonight. Sacramento has to win this game, you know, because they obviously want to avoid um, being a ninth or tenth seed. Because I was going to say that nine and ten game, that's, you know, that's a one shot. You know what I mean? That's, you know, what I mean, right. you only got one chance. You know what I mean? Like, whoever lose, they done. The yep. eight and seven, they got two chances, eight and seven. So, it's going to be interesting to see if it's Warriors, Lakers to see how that go down. Yeah, yeah we was good at home uh, last season. Yep. I think we was like 13 games over 500 at home last season. Yeah, yeah, like we damn sure was good at home last season. Yeah. I don't know what happened this season. If it's all the heat culture, rah rah, and, you know, you putting the logo on the court. You know what I mean? Like, a little too much talk right there, man. We all know what we about already. All the coaches talk about it. All the players talk about it. We don't got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everybody across the league was talking about it, and we stayed silent. Now, all of a sudden, now we want to talk about it all the time now. We we got in our own way. Yep. In the, in the beginning. As we're back here after the break, it's going to be R.J. Bear with the ball. We're underway right now in the second half, third quarter action. R.J. Bear finds Kelly O. Kelly O has mismatch down low. He smokes the layup. Jimmy gets the rebound. Jimmy takes it across half court. Jimmy Butler slows it down. Now he finds Bam. Bam got a mismatch too, and he just got to go. Instead of waiting for a double team, he finds a cutting Jimmy. Jimmy to Nico. Nico lines up a three, and Nico knocks it down. And Jimmy Butler's in cruise control right now. He's just doing everything. You know, he's assisting, defending, rebounding, not too worried about the scoring. That's Kelly O. He gives it off to Grady Dick. Grady Dick, he's going to come off a Kelly O screen. Kelly O catches it down low. Kelly O finds a cutting. R.J. Barrett, he fell asleep, and Barrett gets a dunk. Miami Heat defense fell asleep right there. You got to be active for 24 seconds. As we got Nico. Nico finds Bam. Bam's going to hand it off to Tyler and set the screen. Tyler finds a cutting Bam. Bam, mid-range jumper. Bam knocks it down. Nothing but net. We need Bam to get comfortable here, man. And this is good practice. Quickly. Try to go give and go with Gary Trent. Instead, Gary Trent gets a handoff from Kelly. Yo, Gary Trent, tough mid-range jump shot. He's off. Rebound Bam. Bam, he's going to take it across half court here. Bam looking like he's getting into a rhythm. Bam hands it off to Tyler. Sets a screen for Tyler. Tyler keeps his dribble alive. Finds Caleb in the corner. Caleb with a pump fake. Caleb to Nico. Nico to Jimmy. Jimmy to Bam. Bam in the corner. Bam attacks. Bam. He gets fouled. And I believe they're going to call that on the ground and reset the shot clock to 14 seconds. A 71-52 lead for the Miami Heat. Couple more stops. Couple more scores. And we could blow this game out the water and get some of these other guys some playing time. We got Bam with the ball. Bam finds a cutting Jimmy. Jimmy, not a clean catch, but he catches it nonetheless. Being guarded by quickly here by the free throw line. And Jimmy attacks. Jimmy gets an easy layup to go. That was easy work. No double team sent by Toronto. And Jimmy was able to take his time and abuse quickly. Quickly with the ball. Quickly working on Nico. 
he crosses over. Good defense by Nico, and quickly he misses the floater, but R.J. Barrett gets an offensive rebound, and he puts it back in for two. Can't fall asleep. Ball in the air, get a body. Jimmy Bullet with the ball. He gives it off to Bam. Bam being guarded by Kelly Yo. Near the three-point line, he dumps it down to Nico. Nico got a mismatch with Quickly on him. Nico draws two. He finds Bam. Bam rotates it over to Jimmy. Jimmy attacks. Blow by Jimmy. He goes up. He gets fouled. And he's going to get two free throws here. Good job. That's exactly what I like to see. Be aggressive. Going downhill. Jimmy's going to be at the line right here early in this third quarter. And Jimmy misses the first free throw. He got one more on the way here. I know Jimmy's pissed off at that. He's been trying to get his free throw percentage up to the 90s. This one misses. He got seven assists, though. He's having an all-around game for the Miami Heat. I call this some good practice. You know what I mean? Like you get some live bodies and you're not practicing against yourself. This is an actual NBA team that got some talent on the floor. Jimmy goes 0 for 2 from the line. Heat maintain a 19-point lead and is going to be quickly taking the ball across half court, guarded by Caleb. And quickly, he's attacking right now off the bounce. He finds Gary Trent in the corner. Gary Trent attack. Gary Trent layup is good. Gary Trent gets all the way to the rim right there. Didn't settle for a jumper. He got all the way to the rim and converted. Now we got Tyler Hero with the ball. Tyler Hero, he has a crowd of Raptors around him, and he almost turned it over. Caleb recovers, finds Bam in the corner. Bam, corner three, no good. Rebound Barrett. And Barrett, he turns the ball over. Nico hustling back on defense. Barrett didn't see him. Now Nico's attacking. He finds Caleb, and Caleb, he has to bring him back out here. As the Raptors did a good job in transition defensively, Bam with the ball gives it off to Tyler. Tyler works off the of Bam screen, and he throws up a floater. He misses it. Bam thought he was going to get a lob. Barrett with the ball. Barrett to Gary Trent. Gary Trent three ball. He misses it, and that's going to be out of bound. Ball goes to the Miami Heat, and now the ball stuck on the top of the backboard. They're gonna get the uh gonna get the 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 mop here and they're able to get the the ball down. Bam out of bio with the assist to get the ball down from the top of the backboard. They heat up 17 points. And they're gonna get a possession here, see if they can increase the lead, possibly go up 20 with a with a trade ball. Bam with the ball. Bam finds Tyler. Tyler working off a of Bam screen. Tyler tries to put quickly in jail. A couple of pump fakes. He draws a foul. He's short on the shot, but he's going to get two free throws out of this. We got Tyler knocking down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. He can make this a 19-point lead for the Miami Heat. He's good to have Tyler Hero back. He adds a, a scoring punch for the Miami Heat. He's, he's again, he's going to frustrate you, but you got to love his guts, and, and, and you got to love his clutch gene. He makes big shots. He takes them and makes them. He knocks down both free throws here. Heat up 19. Let's get a stop. And score to get it past 20 quickly with the ball. And quickly, he, he's being hemmed up here. He finds Grady Dick in the corner. And Grady attacks off the bounce. He goes baseline, finds Gary Trent for three. Gary Trent misses it. And Tyler gets the rebound on the run. He finds Caleb. Caleb, he throws it up to Jimmy. Jimmy brings it down. He gives it off to Caleb. Caleb, corner three. He's off. Rebound Kelly O. And Caleb got that hitch in the shot again, man. I thought Wayne fixed it up. But it's not that easy. And Grady lines up a three. He knocks it down. He makes it a 16-point lead. Well, a 16-point deficit for the Raptors. They got a lot to do if they want to get back in this game. The Heat got to just maintain. And Jimmy attacks. Jimmy finds Tyler. Tyler's attacking. Tyler with the mid-range. Tyler, 
he misses the shot and they call a foul here, sort of a late foul call. But yeah, I mean, the guy was all in Tyler's landing space. I believe that was Grady Dick. And let's look at his replay here. Tyler's attacking. You know, sort of a bump with the elbow there by Tyler, but he's able to rise up, line up a mid-range shot, draws the foul. He's going to get two free throws out of it. And I believe Toronto is going to be challenging this call. So we got a challenge by Darko. And let's see what it yields for Toronto. Look at this replay. It's a good angle right here. So Tyler, uh, I think call is going to stand. I think the call is going to stand there. Because I didn't see Tyler kick out. Let's get these score updates going on. Let's see what's going on across the league. Let's see what's popping. So we got, okay, it looks like Philly's going to hold on against Orlando, which is what the Heat need. Cleveland and Indiana battling. It's a seven-point game. It's a battle right now. New York up nine now. Actually, they're up 11 against Brooklyn. They're sort of taking this game over. The only scoring threat for Brooklyn has been Cam Thomas. Lonnie Walker has helped a little bit. So has Watford. But Mikel Bridges, man. Yo, salute, uh, Dwayne. Mikel Bridges. Hasn't been the franchise player the Nets have thought he would be. They turned down a lot of first-round picks and offers for him, and you can't blame him. I mean, you thought you had something there. Maybe he can turn it around. He's he's a good player, but that scouting report has gotten to him. That full off-season scouting report, the defenses have caught up to him. He hasn't been able to adjust. He doesn't have a lot of tools in the tool bag. Um Looking like a high level number three guy, in my opinion, like, you know, like he was over in Phoenix. I think that's his best role. We'll see what he does moving forward. Brunson with a double double, 20 and 10. And in my opinion, Brunson's all NBA first team. Uh, yeah, he's all NBA first team. Uh, you got SGA, you got Luca, you got Joker, you got Giannis. And you got Brunson, in my opinion. That's 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 all NBA first team for me. Brunson has been tremendous this season. I think in the Eastern Conference, he's been the best overall player in, in, in the Eastern Conference at 6-1. I honestly think so with Brunson. I got to give him credit, even though he plays for the Knicks. Um, but I got to give him credit where it's due. He's worked his ass off. He's improved his game. Uh, he was doubted for his contract. And he proved everybody wrong. Everybody. He's a monster. He's unstoppable. I mean, him going left, that's a bucket. And if you push him right, I mean, that's right into his pull-up in the mid-range. So there's nothing you can do with him. There's absolutely nothing you can do. And he has such great footwork. And he's so nifty with his fakes. He sells it really well. Gets fouled. I mean, it's just not much you can do with that guy, man. Let's see what's going on here. Lakers losing to the G League Grizzlies right now. Um, see how long that lasts. The Lakers lose this game here, man. It's not going to look good for them. They're going to be stuck in that 10th spot. And they're going to have to go on the road. With a one-shot kill, <laughs> you lose that 9-10 battle. You're going home, and your season's over. And there's going to be a whole bunch of speculation. You know how it goes with LeBron. Drama, drama, drama. Where is he going to go? What is he going to do? Who's going to draft his son to possibly make LeBron play for him? Yeah, whatever, man. Who the hell is going to waste their time drafting Bronny just to hope that LeBron comes play for them for, what, a year and a half? And just bring all that bullshit to their franchise and they're not going to win anything. It's all a joke, this NBA, man. It's all a joke. Yeah, I mean, we got a whole bunch of players stepping up and making names for themselves. But it's the same old shit that the media wants to cover all the time. As we're back in the action right now, looks like it was a successful challenge by Darko, Coach Darko of the Raptors. He gets that call overturned. His Raptors ball, and it's Gary Trent. He's going to line up a three. He misses it, and Kelly O 
out hustling Miami's front court right now. He gets the layup. He cuts the lead to 14. And here comes Caleb. And Caleb gives it off to Jimmy. Jimmy's trying to attack off the bounce. And what happened here? They're going to call out of bounds. Ball stays with Miami. I thought Jimmy got fouled right there. But they're going to just say it got hit out of bounds. Let's look at this replay. Jimmy goes up. Jimmy gets hit. And Jimmy loses the ball. I think Darko might challenge again. <laughs> no, no, I think they're saying it's Toronto ball. Oh, okay. It's Toronto's ball. Okay, so they talked about it. Okay, Toronto ball. RJ Barrett on the inbound. He gives it off to quickly. Toronto has a chance here to cut even deeper into this lead. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if the Heat step up defensively. Manuel quickly with the ball. Quickly is working on Tyler. And he gets all the way to the lane. He throws it out to Gary Trent. Gary Trent to Kelly O. Kelly O almost gets stripped. And they're going to say boss ball goes over to the Miami Heat. Turnover Kelly O. I believe that's the third or fourth turnover by Kelly Olenek. He hasn't done a good job of protecting that basketball. Here comes Jimmy Butler now. Jimmy Butler, he's being guarded by R.J. Barrett. And Jimmy Butler trying to see what he has. He has Tyler Hero on the catch. And Tyler Hero, he draws two. Tyler Hero gives it off to Nico. Nico's trying to attack off the bounce. He spins. Left hand layup off the glass. It rolls off the rim and rebound R.J. R.J. is going to push some pace here. R.J. Spin move. Left hand layup. And that's good. He got that over Bam as he was able to get to a strong hand. It seems like all of R.J. Barrett's buckets have been going to a strong hand, which is not a surprise. We got Jimmy trying to go to work here. Jimmy off the bounce. Jimmy gets in the mid-range. He pulls up and he misses it. Rebound R.J. And a bucket here. They can make it 10 with a three. They could cut it down to single digits. Mayo quickly with the ball. Mayo quickly is going to try to go to work on Nico here. He finds Kelly O. Kelly O. Try to find him on the back door. Good help by the Miami Heat. Ball gets deflected, and Gary Trent Jr., he's lollygagging. He's still able to recover. Kelly O with the ball to Barrett. Barrett, corner three. Barrett's off. Battle for the rebound. Nico got it. Nico gives it off to Tyler. Tyler to Bam. Let's see what, how Bam plays this. He finds Jimmy. Jimmy's in good post position. He draws two guys. He finds Tyler. And what's the call here? They're going to call it defense at three seconds? And it looked like quickly got kicked in the family jewels here. He's about to get a stomach ache in a little bit. What's the call? Or did he just get kicked in the midsection? No. <clears throat> no, I think Bam ran into his ribs. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Ba yeah, Bam. Yeah. Well, put that on the highlight tape of, of, <laughs> of, you know, teams calling Bam dirty. You know what I mean? Add that to the highlight tape. As we got Tyler Hero, he's going to inbound here. Nico is going to be on the far side of the court here. And Tyler Hero inbounds the ball. He gets it back from Caleb. Tyler Hero attacks. Tyler Hero, tough drive. He gets fouled. He's going to get two free throws. That's what I want to see. Attack, get to the free throw line. Be aggressive, bro. That's what I need to see from Tyler because that's what you got to do in the playoffs. It's about being aggressive getting into that lane and causing havoc. Look at this. He's able to blow by quickly. R.J. Barrett thought he was vertical, but his arm is coming down forward just a little bit. And Tyler, he's going to get two free throws out of this. He knocks down the first one. He got one more on the way, 13-point lead for Miami. Let's see if Tyler can make it 14. So, yep, it's the end of the game. Orlando lost. Knicks battling. Tyler goes two for two. Milwaukee trying to battle, still down 15. San Antonio, man. You got quickly, quickly gives off to Kelly O. Kelly O to RJ. And RJ trying to turn the corner here. He couldn't. He finds quickly for three, quickly launches and he cashes it in. Emmanuel quickly. He's an explosive scorer. He's like a, a frugal version of uh, Tyrese Maxey, I would say. Not a poor man's. I think that's too disrespectful. I would say frugal. As we got Jaime with the ball in the post behind the back pass to Caleb. Caleb wasn't ready to do nothing. Well, he got five on the shot clock, though. He needs to be aware. He finds Nico. Nico has to launch, and Nico catches it. Nico Who's knocks down the trade ball. Rock, that, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, hey, man. Hey, bro, Caleb was right there, man. Like, why are you driving out from the under the basket? You're right there. 
<laughs> and R.J. Barrett drives. Looks like he was off balance, but they call a foul. He's going to get two free throws. And after that three ball by Nico, he has 19 points in this game. If there's one thing to be excited about for this heat season and, and a lot of disappointments is the development of Nico. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. As R.J. Barrett knocks down the first free throw, he has one more on the way. He's 20 years old. He has plenty of time. He's definitely in Miami. I don't want to hear no trade talks. and we, No, I don't need none of that. Nah, he's he's a he's a Miami Heat for the future. A kid 20 years old who works hard to get better. I mean, the sky's the limit. As RJ Barrett knocks down both free throws, heat up a dozen, and bam, he races past half court. Bam's gonna hand it off to Tyler. Tyler throws the alley oop, and bam! What a slam. He throws it down off the oop. Good feet by Tyler, good finish by Bam. Four minutes left in this third quarter. Here comes quickly. Quickly to Malik Williams. Malik Williams thought about it. He didn't take the shot. <laughs> and R.J. Barrett, he gets fouled again. He's going to get two free throws again. It's a good job by Tyler Hero to manipulate the defense. He gave Bam time to get to a sweet spot. But with his eyes, he occupied Malik Williams just enough. That's what I'm talking about when you're attacking with your eyes on the rim. He gave Bam just enough time to sneak and get that alley-oop as R.J. Barrett knocks down the first free throw, and he has another one coming up. Bam with 18 points with plenty of time left in this ball game. I don't care who the opponent is. You need a good groove, and that's what we're getting right now. R.J. Barrett, though, he goes two, two from the line. Heat up a dozen again. The Raptors have been Climbing back into this game. They're fighting. As Nico with a cut, he finds Jaime. Jaime corner three. Jaime's off. And he probably could have made one more to Caleb here. Because he got Bruce Brown with the ball. Bruce Brown quickly, quickly fires up a three. He's off. Bam with the rebound. And bam, he could take it across himself. He does so. He finds Nico. Nico lines up a three. And Nico's off. Rebound quickly. Quickly. Behind the back move. Skips it over to Akbaji. Akbaji drives. He finds Bruce Brown to quickly, quickly attacks. Finds Barrett, who lines up a three. Barrett is off. Rebound Caleb. Right now, it's a brick show right now. We got Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero works off a of BAM screen, and they're going to call a foul here. The Raptors are really grabby right now. They're just fouling and fouling and fouling. Heat's in a bonus. I believe that should be two free throws for Bam or is, or, or did Tyler get fouled? No, Bam got fouled. Okay. Hakez needs to work on it. Yeah, yeah. He has a, you know, like as Bam knocked down the first free throw, yeah, 305. Um, you know, Hakez got, you know, got some things to work on. But again, you know what I mean? He's had a long season, so. It's going to be the off season for him, mm -hmm. you know, like where you'll see those improvements that you need to see. You know, like he'll adjust to what the NBA is throwing at him. And bam, in and out, rims out. The second free throw rims out. So it's a 13-point lead for Miami with three minutes left in the third quarter. And R.J. Barrett takes the ball across half court. R.J. Barrett skips it over to Freeman Liberty. Freeman Liberty to Mark Williams, and they're going to call a foul? No, I think they call a timeout. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, thinking the same wow. thing. I'm like, how, how was that? Where's the foul? But no, I think it was a, you know, I think it was a timeout. Just look at these scores right here. Indiana's battling their ass off. I got to give them credit. I don't, I don't like those bastards, but they fight. Mm -hmm. Come they on, fight. Man. <laughs> Let's see. In Brooklyn and Cam Thomas got 32 points. We need that, you know, for Sunday, man. So don't so don't don't blow your load, bro. You gotta I need you to drop 50 on Sunday. I need Bridges to wake up and remember that he's an NBA player too. <laughs> That's what I need. 
Cause this is pathetic. Yeah, like he's had a, a terrible time adjusting to being the quote unquote number one option, and he's not even a number one option anymore, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> As we're back in the action right here, Grady Dick with the ball. Shot clock going down for Toronto. Akbaji corner three. He knocks it down. Akbaji makes it a 10-point game that he had a chance to blow this game open to 20-plus. And now they're only up 10, and they got to go to work now for the rest of the game now. So no Thomas Bryant, no DeLon, no Patty. Sorry, guys. No Kane. It is what it is. As we got Jaime Jaquez. Jaime Jaquez trying to go to work here in the post. Jaime, he, turns, he almost turns it over. Highsmith got it. Highsmith with a spin. And Highsmith gets a layup. And one. Haywood Highsmith. What a move right there. He had a left-hand dribble. And he's able to spin right there. Get the layup. Look at this. Off of Jaime's bad pass. It got telegraphed. Look at that. Boom. Nice little hesitation into the spin. And he got the and one layup. Gotta love it. And this is a guy that's been improving his game. He missed the free throw, though. So now, yeah, he, you know, I'm talking about you now. Here you go missing free throws. Now I'm talking about improving your game. You smoke a free throw, I guess. It's going to be a turnover here by Toronto, though. So ball is going to go to the Miami Heat up a dozen. Let's see if we can get some more. As we got Jaime with the ball. Jaime trying to attack. Jaime finds Highsmith to Tyler. And Tyler, he just throws that about. He didn't even give K-Love a chance to relocate. He wasn't parked down low. He was fading out to three. You got to read that. But I can't be too mad. At least at least he's trying to read the game fast. And that should have been a layoff for K-Love. K-Love should have read that a little better, though. As we got Indiana down right here. And Knicks, come on. New York. I need you to just win just to put pressure on Milwaukee. Just so they're like, they have no choice but to play their guys. Or they're going to be accused of, like, openly forfeiting a seed like i need new york to put pressure on milwaukee bro but i ain't gonna lie it's not a bad thing at least at least the net showing me that they can compete though <laughs> at least the net showing me they can compete so i ain't too they gotta lose though they gotta lose compete but lose and uh damn boy come on milwaukee man as we got inbound here, Bruce Brown, he gets it back. He's going to take it across half court. Raptors down a dozen. 
Mark Williams with the ball. Mark Williams, he's going to give it to Javon Freeman Liberty, and Javon Freeman Liberty fumbles it out of bounds, and ball's going to go over to the Miami Heat. How we're only up 12, I have no idea. <laughs> only thing I can remember for the Raptors is a couple of R.J. Barrett free throws, bro. I'm telling you, no lie right now. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember they've done. It's, it literally, it's literally all R.J. Barrett. Yeah. <laughs> As Jaime with a nice fake into a turnaround jumper, he gets that to go heat up 14, 87, 73, 120 left in the third quarter. Here comes Freeman Liberty. His name takes up the whole jersey. <laughs> As we got Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown trying to work off the bounce here. He finds a cutting Akbaji. Akbaji reverse layup is good. Back to a dozen. And we got Tyler Hero with the ball under a minute left. Tyler Hero gets it back from K-Love, tries to attack, gathers, goes up, floater is good. Tyler Hero is just scoring at will right now. You got Bruce Brown taking it across half court. Bruce Brown slowing it down a little bit. Heat look like they're in the zone. And Bruce Brown attacks. And wow, missed play on the alley. Ubach Baji couldn't catch it. And Bruce Brown with a little turnaround hook, he couldn't get that to go. And Mark Williams gets stripped. Raptors benches in an uproar. Here comes Tyler Hero up 14. Highsmith to Caleb. Caleb back to Highsmith. Back to Tyler. Tyler with a pump fake relocate three ball. Tyler, he knocks it down. Nothing but net. Good patience right there by the Miami. A little bit overpassing maybe. But Tyler Hero for the three, he knocks it down. And he hit a 12 for 29 from behind the three-point arc. The Raptors can't really complain though because like, Literally, the guy that uh stripped it, yeah, they got yeah, the guy that got stripped, like he came barreling into K Love, so that that yeah. should have been a foul there. Yep, wow. and he just got stripped again to close out the third quarter. <laughs> just not ready, you know. I mean, like the game again, he's like a, a fourth string big man, you know. I mean, just playing on the team trying to close out the season. The game just a little too fast for him. Cavs won. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. Up, up five with like yeah six seconds left. Yeah. Well, six now. Six seconds left. Um, Who's ball? Milwaukee. Uh, I mean Indiana. No, no. They uh they ended it with free throws. So, okay. Uh, yeah, Indiana's gonna get the ball last, but yeah, even if they chuck up the three or get a three, still got. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yep. And the Knicks out by three with twenty two seconds left. So. Hmm. Damn, Cam Thomas got 39 of them things. Wow. Him and Brunson the Berlin. The Lakers are going tooth and nail <laughs> with the G League Grizzlies. They're, they're struggling against Jake LaRavia and G.G. Jackson and Jordan Goodwin and Scotty Bibbin Jr. Wow, they, they're, they're, they're struggling right now. I mean, I, I can't say too much. We, we lost to them, but mm, I'm just saying. I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about tonight. Look that. Let me see. Atlanta giving Minnesota all they can ask for. If, if, if Minnesota lose this game, uh let me see how the one seed looking they like might drop to third yeah they'll drop to third because uh yeah uh the thunder look like they're gonna win so, yeah so but the thunder owns the tiebreaker over denver so uh, so denver has to win uh their last game against memphis well denver got a good draw mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see who okc okc playing against dallas but dallas might not bring anybody to oklahoma because they already secured the the fifth, the fifth seed. seed so so well not hey. necessarily yeah. if they lose to the pistons which they are right now choose by 11. <laughs> yeah um, if they lose to the pistons and they lose to the thunder and then the pelicans win tonight against golden state and whoever their last game is they take the fifth seed so like the, uh, they got the tie brick over 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 dallas i'm not too sure I don't think so. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so Dallas would would 
would stay fifth then if they if they don't got the tiebreaker because like they'll have tie records i yeah. think yeah oh, okay i don't mind yeah dallas yeah dallas so okay see might end up with the first seed then because they hold the tiebreaker over denver, over denver yeah wow as we got akbaji with the ball i think highsmith just scored a bucket we got delon right in the game and rj barrett with the ball he's trying to attack baseline he gets fouled and again this all i've been seeing is just rj going to the free throw line i can't remember anything else from toronto <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's crazy yeah, the Cavs won by nine. Yeah. And V21 said, not going to lie, I think I trust Haywood in the starting five over Caleb. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. The thing is, but then, I think Jovic could play the, the, anything between one through four, honestly, Yeah. if you need him to. So, the yeah, problem, but they're going to keep Caleb, though. The only problem I have with Haywood in the in the start, in, in the starting uh, lineup Mm. is now you have to have somebody else be that uh spark off the bench because yeah they, they tried they tried it with caleb and it's it works at times and then other times it doesn't and yeah then they tried it and now they're trying it with haywood and it's working so keep switching That's it up true. and it's like Ugh. <laughs> as we got jimmy with the ball at the barrett Knocks down a couple of free throws. And Jaime misses the layup. And Kevin Love, he missed the putback. He battled for the rebound. He was going up against three Raptors. And R.J. Barrett has the ball right now. R.J. Barrett skips it over to Grady Dick. Grady Dick in the corner for three. He's off. Offensive rebound. Bruce Brown gives it to Barrett. Barrett's trying to barrel his way into the lane. Right-hand layup is good. So he goes to his offhand right there, gets a difficult layup, and he gets that to go. Raptors down 15, and they're not showing any signs of quitting. As we got Garrett Temple in the game, the veteran. It seems like he's been playing forever. Jaime Hawkes attacks. Jaime Hawkes gets fouled, and he's going to get two free throws. As Jaime's going to get two free throws right here. Chance to extend this lead. Heat was a 15-point favorite, so let's see if the Heat could cover the spread. I don't believe in laying a lot of points with heavy favorites, but to the suckers that do do it out there, I hope the Heat cover for you. As Jaime knocks down both free throws, R.J. Barrett inbounds to Temple. Temple right back to Barrett. Heat up 17. Let's get some stops, man. As Temple finds Barrett. Barrett's going to try to work off the bounce here. Temple in the corner. Pump fake. Relocate three. He misses it. He had Kevin Love flying. I mean, just <laughs> not that spooked of Temple shooting threes now. We got DeLon right. DeLon right. He's trying to find K-Love. We got a mismatch down low. K-Love back to mismatch, honey. K-Love throws up a little floater. He gets it to go. We could call it a jump hook, whatever you want to call it. K Love gets it to go, and and I like seeing K Love abuse the mismatches, man. Like that's what we was doing early in the season. As Grady Dick finds Akbaji, Akbaji skips it over to the corner. Barrett, Barrett shoots a corner three. Barrett knocks it down, nothing but net. Barrett's battling in his ass off right now. I mean, he's the only source of anything right now for Toronto. Here comes DeLon right now. DeLon right with a little hesitation move. He spins. He gets fouled. He's going to get two free throws out of this. Good job by DeLon right being aggressive. I want him to be more north and south off of those screens, though. He just retreats east and west and kind of doesn't really get nothing out of it. Got to try to get downhill a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the long right, he knocks down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. To his to his credit, if he doesn't feel comfortable with the three, he does drive it, which is yeah, you know, yeah, a breath of fresh air. So <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And he usually has intent to to score unless like like there's a wall in front in front of the rim. That's true. The lawn goes two for two, makes it an eighteen point game. 
and some full court pressure being applied right here by the Miami Heat. The long right goes for the steal on quickly, very risky with the speed of quickly, quickly crossover move. He finds Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple almost stumbles Jaime there. He finds quickly in the corner for three. He misses it. Rebound Jaime. Jaime Hawkins takes it across half court. He finds the long right. The long right transition three. The long right lines it up. He knocks it down. The long right. This is what we need from you. Hit your catch and shoots. Defend and hit your layups too. As mm -hmm. we got almost a deflection steal here by Highsmith, but it goes to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown gets a little floater to go. And Heat up 19. Jaime Hawkins with the ball. Jaime Hawkins finds a cutting. Highsmith. Highsmith, a floater on the baseline. He gets it to go. As we got Barrett with the ball. Barrett finds quickly in the middle. Quickly. He shoots a mid-range. He not, he's off. And here comes K-Love with the rebound. Gives it off to Jimmy, and Jimmy's going to slow it down. The long right with the ball. The long right, little step back three. Oh, in and out. I like that, though. I like that confidence from DeLon. Halfway down, and here comes Barrett pushing the pace. He finds Garrett Temple, and they bail out old man Temple with a foul. He he, he ran into, towards the rim with absolutely no plan of attack. He gets bailed out. He's going to get two free throws. I'd love to see that replay. And Spo, could you sit Jimmy for somebody who actually wants to play, man? Yeah, <laughs> I just I don't get it, bro. As uh, Temple misses the first free throw, he has one more on the way. God, yo, it's good, Shift. Guess Spo yeah. didn't get the memo. You don't got no memos, man. <laughs> Damn, dude, it's just. Jimmy with a little jab step attack on the baseline. He gets knocked out of bounds. He's going to stay with the Miami Heat. Can't get no cane. What, like, Spo really think that we're going to lose a 20-point lead? Come on, Spo. He, oh. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. It's K-Love, another in-and-out shot for Miami Heat. K-Love had that halfway down. It pops out. Here comes Quickly. And Quickly basically thought Kevin Love was his teammate. And here comes Jimmy now. Jimmy slows it down. Jimmy, he shoots a three. He knocks it down. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy not even trying, bro. Exactly. He's Just chilling saying, as, like, geez, bro. as Darko calls the time. I look at this replay right here. Jimmy just looking, looking. He's like, okay, let's just shoot the three then. <laughs> Screw it up by 20. Yeah, yeah. So up 23 now with 730 after this timeout. Let's see what Spo does. I mean, come on now. Did Thomas Bryant like slap Spo in practice or something that we don't know about? Because son, it, it don't make no sense. Like, why time? And don't tell me, is, is Bam even in the game? If he's not nope. in the game, if he he's checks the in, Spo sick. So yeah, Spo's yeah, Spo just dumb, bro. Matter of fact, if I was Bam and Spo tried to check me in, I'd just be like, for what? For what? <laughs> We're up 23 with seven minutes left. We have to play this team again. What? What? Why? why yeah, why do no, do yeah, like, don't try to rub stuff in, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, we got to play them again. Come on now. Unless something dramatic happens and then they go on a, like a 20 0 run or something with the with the third stringers in. Yeah. Like, just sit the starters, man. You don't need them. No doubt. Hey, San Antonio battled all the way back from the double digit deficits and now only down five. Yep. Yeah, this playoff's gonna be a battle, man. These teams, you know, Denver, they they are gonna have to play. They're gonna have to play ball. No matter who they face. If OKC gets that one seed, they're gonna look at facing that 9-10 matchup. Hmm. No, actually. No, you mean the 9-8? Well, yeah, 9-8, well, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, oh my Miami got to just finish out, man. It's, everything could be a possibility because everybody lost least today. Yep. Yep. We, you know, and we were talking about it the other day too, like how crazy it would be. I mean, Sunday is gonna be crazy, man. Oh, Sunday is definitely. <laughs> yeah, uh Pacers lost. Yep. Magic yep. lost. Yep. <laughs> And um, uh, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Milwaukee Cleveland beat somebody. Yeah, Cleveland beat the Pacers, yeah. Pacers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleveland beat Pacers, yeah. Yep, so. Who got the tiebreaker between Cleveland and Milwaukee? Cleveland. Oh, uh, no, no. Um, Sorry, I uh, believe Milwaukee does. Oh, okay, okay. All mm -hmm. right, just a second. Because Milwaukee could slide all the way to fourth Three. then. Oh, fourth. If if Cleveland, you know, had the tiebreaker, but I think Milwaukee got it. So, yeah, Milwaukee just going to finish either two or three, depending mm -hmm. on how they play their final game. Oh, We're going to cool. see, like, if, you know, the Bucks have any guts or not. We'll see. <clears throat> and Barrett's at the free throw line again? Jesus Christ. Yep, Barrett at the free throw line. That's pretty much all Toronto been doing this whole second half. I don't know how we not up 30 by now. As he missed the free throw, here comes Jaime. And Spoke still got this. Oh, oh, Jaime misses a dunk right there. That, that, that would have been a nice thunderous dunk, but he smoked it. And Barrett, he smokes a layup. The law right finds Jaime, and this time Jaime flushes it in. <laughs> Jaime Hawkins gets the dunk. 110-87 lead for the Miami Heat. They're blowing this game open. And... We got Gary Trent smoking a layup. K Love out left to the Jimmy. Jimmy finds Highsmith. Highsmith to the lawn. The lawn to a trailing Kevin Love. Kevin Love attacks the closeout. He stops. Ah, he's short on a little jump hook, little push shot, little floater shot. And Kelly Onlick turns the ball over again. I mean, good Lord. Kelly O got like five turnovers oh. tonight. Yeah, on the replay of the dunk that Jaime smoked. You see him release it too early. Like, just hold it. Just hold it till it's through the rim. Man. <laughs> As we got Highsmith. Highsmith traveled to that three line. Oh. Good God, Highsmith. I mean, damn. I know you like to step back now, but you got to mm -hmm. put the ball on the ground if you're that far from the three line. But that's only the fifth turnover for the Miami Heat. Raptors got 15 turnovers. The Heat have scored 17 points off of those turnovers. Here comes Quickly. Quickly's racing through, weaving through the traffic. He shoots a three from the corner, and he knocks it down. Makes it a 20-point lead right now for Miami. We're about to be just at six minutes left in this fourth quarter. And still got the same guys on the court for Miami. I mean, I don't yeah, know what Spoh's like, waiting for, man. I don't like running these dudes into the ground. Here comes K-Love, three ball. K-Love knocks it down. What else more man. do you got to see, Spoh? We're executing. We're good. Everybody's in groove. Put the bench guys in. Exactly. Man, you The game has been blown bro. open. Like <laughs> You talking about Spoh, bro. Real talk. Yeah, a man can only hope and dream, man. No matter how much times it gets denied, all I can do is just open a dream. Man, I want to see these guys get, you know, get some play a little bit because we yeah, might man. need them in the playoffs. Like you never know who you're gonna need. The last thing you want is 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 a guy to be as cold as a brick of ice, and you need them. I mean, at and least the lawn getting some yeah. burn, but damn. They're, you're hoping that they turn into something if you need them. Like, why don't you play them first? <laughs> Yep, and that's so a good drive you. right there by DeLon Wright, who gets the layup. As Gary Trent knocks down a three. Go ahead, Lucy. You're asking too much from Spo. But you can't keep talking about how deep you are this year. And then when the opportunity arises, you don't play the guys that you don't play the guys that make you a better team. Uh yeah, deeper team. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know, D Master. It just it don't it don't it don't make sense, man. Um 
Like, look how much time is left, and like, look at the lead we got. And you're waiting for what? Like, <laughs> for two minutes, for one minute, bro. As if those two minutes mattered. And Jaime Hakez smokes a reverse layup. Kevin Love on the ground. Kelly Olynyk on the ground. And they're gonna call a foul <laughs> on Kevin Love. <laughs> and Kevin Love's playing around with Kelly Yo. I guess he must have forget forgiven him for popping his shoulder out. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens here. I saw someone get off from the bench. Let's see who that is. Oh, for Jimmy. Oh, that's Jimmy. Okay. No, no, no. Someone for Jimmy. I don't know who yet. And I see Nico running to the. Why is Nico? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's see. Oh, it's Caleb Mon. Oh, Caleb's checking in? Yeah. What the hell so is Spo doing, bro? Nah, seriously, so sick, bro. bro. So sick, man. <laughs> and look at this. He took K Love, he took K Love out, so now Nico's the uh Nico's the oh, five. At the five. Thomas Bryant could get no play T. That uh, can't get um, no play T. Thomas, bro. Wow, bro. I don't understand this dude, bro. That's a slap in the face to a guy that came in working hard and playing good basketball for you, man. What did Thomas do? Oh, Jaime Hawkins drops Kelly. Yo, he can't finish it. Tap out. Highsmith gives it off to Caleb. Caleb to DeLon. <laughs> DeLon to Jaime. Jaime attacks. He throws up a little push shot. He gets it to go. Timeout, Toronto. And hopefully after this timeout, I see Kane, Bryant, Mills, uh, you know, a dude from the crowd. I, I just literally. <laughs> man, I don't, man. This dude spoke, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all was right because this season on really, I seen the signs from Spo, but I've just kind of like let ignored it ignored them, mm. ignored them, and plus, like I've watched the games, but I wasn't doing play by play. It, it's kind of different, like when you literally talking about everything you see. And it just resonates in your brain because you're just saying every little thing you see, you're saying that you're seeing mm -hmm. everything more in depth. Yep. And I'm just able to see the war crimes Spo has just been committing this whole season. Ridiculous, man. <laughs> war, you say war crimes? Yeah. War crimes. War <laughs> crimes. Yes. <laughs> like they like like he's supposed to go to court right now and <laughs> stand trial for treason. San Antonio, I mean, Antonio, damn. San, San Antonio and Denver. Well, San Antonio made it a dope right now because they're only down by one minute. 30 well, how left. much time left? Minute 30 left in fourth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if Denver loses this game, they done for the one seed. They're done. No, no, Denver <laughs> just got a bucket up by three now. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, boy, when, sweating when tooth and nail. The ball on Gordon, Jesus. Oh, he passed it. Oh, he passed it. He turned it over. Wow. When yeah, they're they trying to, they like trying to get that highest pick possible, man. They selling, man. <laughs> Wemby sold that shit. That yeah, boy yeah, Wemby need know. help. Not even because he has been buying in your kitchen, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Wemby's got a bright future, man. I mean, once he gets, you know, some more, like, functional strength as he gets older, yeah, I mean, he's going to be a problem in the league, man. Kids. Yeah. And, like, the good thing about it, too, is, like, he's playing 70-plus games. He's not showing you any, like, he's being brittle and hurt and yeah. shit like that. You yeah. feel me? So that's a good sign. A lot of these dudes come into the league missing a season. They're hurt. You know, I'm talking about, like, these tall big men, Embiid, and, and you know, you've seen Chet, you know, miss the whole season because of his foot injury mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's good to see Wemby able to take the wear and tear of a whole rookie season playing 70 plus games and he's and he's still going strong at the end so spurs i don't know how they keep doing it they got themselves a <laughs> franchise cornerstone i guess it says spo caleb just uh, said thank you when spo subbed them out yeah spo's crazy wow. That's so crazy. is crazy. And absolutely no changes to the lineup. Yep, suppose six. Suppose on fucking dope, bro. Wow. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I don't even believe what I'm seeing. I don't believe How it. Not? How could you I, not, I, man? I, this is no, I'm done. saying like, 
Oh, what I see oh! right now. Spurs just took the lead with 0.9 seconds left. Wow. Ooh. Nuggets fried. The Nuggets are <laughs> fried. <laughs> wow, the Nuggets are fried, dog. Uh, they're Jeez. fried. <laughs> They're gonna have to play my fucking um who's the, oh they're gonna have to play damn, I, I think the Suns or some shit, right? Or the Kings or some shit. I think the Suns no, and no, Kings no, no, gonna battle no, no, for no. it. Yeah, yeah. The King, that Suns and Kings gonna battle for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh that, yeah, the Kings banged up, so I mean now if they play the Suns, remember the Suns been kicking their ass this season, so well the, for the, the Suns. Uh, for the Suns, the the big three have their big three literally have to have a a perfect series. Yeah, perfect series. Shit. Yeah, you know Nurkic Nurkic battles against Joker though, so mm. you know what I mean if if the Nuggets have to play the Suns, the Nuggets might go home in the first round as Jaime Hawkins knocks down a deep three, and Jaime's almost having a double double here with eighteen points and nine assists. He's assist away from a double double. Let's see if he even knows. <laughs> oh, yeah, he probably knows. Because we got Akbaji attempting a three. He misses it. And Nico gets the rebound. Nico gives it off to Jaime. Let's see what happens here. Jaime might try to play make a little bit off the bounce. Hesitate, gets to the rim. He spins. He finds the lawn. Ah, the lawn sold. Yeah, him. yeah, damn it. The lawn sold. <laughs> no, but, no, but to be fair, that pass to the lawn, the closeout was, yeah. It was too yeah. Like, ah. yeah, it was there. It was there. And then, yeah, Nico was wide open. So I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> wow. Spoh's a criminal. He is. Man. I'm really he seeing is. the clock wind down, and we got our main guys on the floor besides the lawn. Here comes Jaime. Jaime on the field. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Jaime to the lawn. Oh, the lawn for three. Oh, man. <laughs> He's man. selling it on that double double, fam. <laughs> Sold them, man. The lawn's selling, selling them, man. He, man, the lawn never seeing the floor again after this. <laughs> As Agbaji flushes mm. it. And we got the long right with the ball. He should give it to Jaime here. Let's see what happens. The lawn finds Caleb. Caleb trying to attack off the bounce. Caleb finds Highsmith. Highsmith to Nico. Nico lines up a corner three. Nico is off. And Caleb gets offensive rebound to the lawn. The lawn finds a cutting Jaime. Jaime, uh, he barrels in. He's going to get two free throws. I thought he was going to try to do some behind the back shit to uh, yeah, Nico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I know, I, no, I knew, I knew from the the pass from Delon that Jaime was gonna go off with it, but yeah, I, I think Spo's it. really on his, really Spo, really, bro, really. Man? This is what you're doing, Spo. Wow, bro, this shit is sad. The Spurs really called a timeout. Why? Wow, man. This this shit is sad. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is about as sad as you'll see. Uh, now you want to put them in with a minute left? They couldn't. Man, like, Thomas man, Bryant like, is being slapped in the face, in the fucking dog. face bro. Damn. In the fucking face. And after all the bullshit he went through as well, look at this. Yeah. Look, look, they don't. They don't want to play this. They don't want to play this, man. They're just yeah. like, man, you put me out, here. man. You might as well just let me let me sit down. For yeah, facts. Why not give them five minutes of of good of good burn? At least they could go up and down. Now it's about it's burning cool. clock. Exactly. As soon as they, uh, as soon as the um, the yeah, start Thomas Bryant really, don't look happy well, at all, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I just seen him after K Love went down and all the work he did after getting suspended. Like, oh my gosh, man, Jesus! After battling with Orlando Robertson for the backup center position in the first place, mm -hmm. <laughs> my gosh, man. Absolutely pitiful. Yep, yep. Spurs, Spurs won. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay, she's so oh, gonna get the boy. one seed, man. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, she's gonna be that number one seed, bro. Wow. As the lawn, he he got to go here. He finds Alondis. Can Alondis get on the board? Alondis off. Ooh. Rebound Nora. Nora to Freeman Liberty. 
So we got Nora to Liberty. Liberty fires a three. He's off. Rebound Kane. And this is what happens when you put these dudes in the game. All they can do is yep. run the clock out. They can't get no exactly. meaningful plays, no nothing. Suppose, uh, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm tired of saying Spoh's name, bro. I'm exactly. tired of you. Dickhead, bro. Wow, bro. I can't believe he did that to them boys, man. Yeah. He was scared. I, I have to coach, guys. I, I'm scared I lose 20-point lead to Raptors. Like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, Spo. Look at Jimmy dancing and shit. You better come through in the playoffs, bro. That's all I got to exactly. say about that. I get it, bro. You happy. I like the good vibes and good energy. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's one thing if we lose if you come out and do your thing. Then it is what it is. Mm. Do your thing, bro, because you're talking about playoff. Jimmy's a whole nother guy. All right, now. I'm, I'm, I'm holding you towards it. Mm -hmm. Behind me, all laps right now in Biscayne. Everybody's happy. Look at Kelly Olenek. You know, he's telling everybody how he wish he was still on the heat. <laughs> uh, you, you love to see it. 125-103 final for the Miami Heat. As they dominate. It's a good game right there. I appreciate you, Melvin. If we know anything about Spo, we know he's not going to play these young guys in the playoff. He'd rather get swept. Yeah, no mm -hmm. doubt. But just, you know, not seeing Thomas Bryant get any minutes, that, that's just, that sucks, man. That That's just a confidence killer. Any confidence that the dude had, Spo just killed it. Told y'all, bro. Keep telling y'all about that dude, man. He waited till like kind of one minute left, you know. What I mean, to you know, like to put those young kids in, and at that point, the young kids can't even get no burn, yeah. they just gotta waste the clock, exactly. Just burning clock, man. Huh? Oh, I don't get it. Now, I was just saying that Spo, instead of like when he had the chance around five minutes, he could have made the sub because we was up 20 something by five minutes left, he could have put those those guys in and at least they get some real minutes where they could play and go up and down a little bit but he waits until the minute left in the game to sub them yeah. in and they can't even do nothing but waste the clock yeah he's a control freak v21 i would tell you that about yeah, him. Oh, he's a control freak man yeah that's why was, that's why he probably getting divorced <laughs> That's probably why, bro. He he just stubborn hard. Uh, this just that's 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 just pathetic, bro. Yep. That's 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 pathetic, bro. To to put them guys in at at only fifty a minute left. Real talk, bro. That's that's some sickness shit, man. Real and they talk, playing hard in practice. We was up by like, 21, but you could have put them kids. guys in the six minutes. Yeah, man. You could have put them guys in six minutes, at least, at least five minutes. Exactly. You could have put them in with five minutes left. This guy's sickening, man. He fucking ridiculous, bro. Man, can't even this enjoy a win, dog. Man. This dude just sitting here just messing shit up, man. Like. Come on now, come on now. Like they all working hard in practice. Thomas Bryant did absolutely nothing wrong for you. And mm -hmm. then and you can't put him in the game. Bam. I don't even think Bam played like the last eight minutes of the fourth quarter. And you mean to tell oh. me Bam don't play the last eight minutes of the fourth quarter and Thomas Bryant couldn't get no burn? Come on, Spo, bro. Come on, bro. He playing great basketball. This he is came crazy, off. Of, bro. I think I think Thomas Bryant last game was what a 20 point game, right? 20 point, yeah. And then K Love came back the very next game. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh god. Ah, boy, oh boy. <laughs> Ever since bro. then we ain't seen <laughs> Even in the win, yeah, I gotta they, talk they, about they, this they... motherfucker, bro. This shit crazy. I told you, man. man. He, 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 he do disgusting, man. I told you, man. And I'm I'm losing respect for him, bro. I really am. I'm 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 really losing respect for Spo, man. He, now he just he just doing it now, man. He he hear this shit. He hear the media, man. Now, now he just doing it, bro. He just doing this shit, man. See, it, it couldn't, it just couldn't be me, bro. I, I, I either be on another team, bro, or just be out the NBA. Mm -hmm. 
because I would cuss his ass out. Then I would make sure in the media, I just, I, I, I cuss him ass out. They can blackball me all my want, all they want. Shit is just, it's, it's fucking crazy, man. Damn, it's crazy, man. That's, that shit is disgusting, bro. Come on, Memphis. Beat these bum-ass clowns' ass, man. <laughs> beat these garbage-ass bums, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to tune in and watch it right now. I'm about, I'm about to see what you know. Yeah, what I'll Memphis put it up got on. I'll put it up. Yeah, that's why I put okay. it up on the screen. Okay, perfect. Let's see what's going it's, down it's, here. It's a minute and twenty-one seconds on my end. Okay. Uh, well, at least on on the screen. Yeah. Man, mm. That dude, disgusting man. Spoke man. <sighs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. I can't believe what. Well, even though I should believe it, I still can't believe it. I I I, just, I can't believe it. I, I can't I can't believe it that man, them dudes working their ass off in practice, not getting no playing time, and that's what a coach supposed to do. A coach, you supposed to see the perfect opportunity to, to empty your bench, and that was a come on. What like we really was gonna let the Raptors come up from twenty on us? Really? <laughs> Is that what you worried about, Spo? Come on, man. That's some paranoid. Like, suppose suppose seems like he's losing. He's paranoid. He, he, like, you that scared that you had to wait a minute left in the game to put these guys in? Wait a minute. If if three or five is correct, yeah. No, if we're, if I'm correct, and uh, that Portland, yeah, that uh, twenty point game was Bryant's loss. Yeah, yeah he got twenty six. Yeah, he was a part. So let me get this straight. He was a part of the sixty-point beatdown we put on Portland. Yeah, right. Ever since then, he hasn't got right. no PT. Are you yep. kidding me? Man? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, really? A part of one of the biggest beatdowns in Heat history, and for that, he actually gets demoted back to the bed. Oh. <laughs> Spo just make you laugh, dog, but not in a good way, in an exhausted, it's, it's you got exactly, no answers man. way, bro. Like, you're just, you're just stupid at this point, man. I don't know what you're playing at. Yeah, doing good, yeah. Draven. Appreciate you, man. Doing good, man. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate everybody coming in oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, for the play-by-play. Play. Hit that like button if y'all didn't hit it, man. Hit the like button, join, share, subscribe, show some love, man, and just again, Please. even in the win, man. Even in the yes, win, sir. man. We are bam shooting know threes. Free. I want to see them thing. Okay. Exactly. Y'all know it's also <laughs> free smoke Friday, baby. Free smoke, free smoke. <laughs> it's free as, smoke as, Friday. As as the Lakers, man, they just caught a break. Memphis smoked a couple of layups point blank, and now LeBron, he, he's gonna go to the free throw line. For two free throws, man. Lakers got a break right there, man. They sweating. They backs against the of wall right now. Of course they're going to get a break. Yep. Of course them bastards going to get a break. Man. Disgusting bastards. <laughs> I can't stand them, uh, them rigged-ass bastards, man. I really can't, bro. Shit is disgusting, bro. Yeah, and you see how crazy it was, right, 305 and y'all? So, look. So against a team that had some some tough guards, Luca and Kyrie, Spo played Patty Mills, and now Patty Mills get no minutes. <laughs> Spo a goddamn maniac, man. As we got uh, unbelievable how Spo sees obvious and goes against it. Yeah, he mm -hmm. Spo sees the obvious and go. Remember, I broke it down like last month. I say it's like having a garage with the garage door on the side. And you're trying to move in some furniture and, and you got the garage door wide open. You got all the space in the world to go in and, and just move in the furniture easy. And Spo, Spo going to try to squeeze everything through the side door. That's yep. Spo. 35 goddamn free throws to, to, to 20. These motherfuckers are disgusting. And... AD, AD got 17 damn free throws. LeBron got 10. You can't make you can't make this shit up, bro. 
with these disgusting bastards, bro. You can't make this shit up, man. I told you, I keep, I've been telling y'all sport was the problem. I've been telling y'all sport was the problem. I've been telling y'all that, bro. And nobody want to listen. Y'all listen to them old clown ass, hating ass bums who want to fire their coach every week, but going to tell us about our coach. Going to tell us stop blaming our coach. <laughs> yeah, for you to form a relationship. <laughs> oh boy, you're not you're probably not wrong, 305. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he probably, you know, his you know, I'm like controlling ways, he probably just beat that in into so much that you know I mean like that she couldn't Take it no more as LeBron James gets an easy breakaway dunk and he's showboating right now. Have some shame, LeBron. Have some shame, bro. Have some he, shame, he bro. Disgusting, bro. And I think they robbed Memphis. I think LeBron was at. I need to see the replay. I need uh, to see what happened. So you ain't gotta see it. I ain't even looking at it. I'm gonna tell you they robbed. Him. Let me see. I ain't, you ain't gotta see shit. I can tell you what happened. They fucking cheated. You ain't got to see it. I can tell you, and I ain't look at not one one second of it. I can tell you exactly what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, it look like Lakers going to escape here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they fouling the shit out of Memphis. No call, no call. That last drive by Memphis was a fucking foul on AD. No call. And yeah. Then obviously, yeah. LeBron got the call, and then they had to foul him. Wow, man. They really make it that obvious, boy. Let me see something. Let me see what's going down here. Let me look at the free throw attempt. That's what you got to do with the Lakers. Memphis free throw attempts. Well, they got this dude, man. So they went 17 for 21 from the free throw line. One of they dudes got 11 of them. And then Memphis head coaches got hit with a technical foul. And the Lakers, they shot 33 free throws. They 26 for 33 from the free throw line. So, yep, typical, typical Lakers game. Can't wait for that play in, though, boy. It's going to be beautiful seeing them bounced out. Man. It's going to be beautiful, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Exactly. It's going to be beautiful seeing them bounced out. Exactly, man. Exactly. Let's take a look here. Let's see what's going down with these other games. Minnesota's in a dog fight with Atlanta. Everybody's they, they, They're disgusting, man. It's a, yep. it, it just, they're just effing up this NBA, bro. It totally effing up this NBA, man. Totally effed up the NBA, this dude, man. Lost all respect for LeBron, man. I don't have no respect for his ass, bro. None. Mother disgusting, man. Okay, that that should be a good game. Uh, New Orleans and uh, fuck Lakers, cheating fuckers. <laughs> Pelican, oh, Pelicans, 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 yeah. and uh, Warriors. Uh, yeah, Golden State. Yeah, it's gonna be a good game because Pelicans. They need to win both of these to stay in the six. Yep. Yep, they got to win both games, stay in that six seed. So they're going to be playing their ass off. As we got now Lakers in the eighth spot for now. Wait, who else playing tonight? Ain't the Kings playing tonight too? Yeah, the Kings playing tonight. Yeah. So Lakers in the eighth spot right now. 
So let's see how. Yeah, this this shit could get crazy too on this west side if the if the Pelicans win and the Kings lose. Lakers got a big chance to be in that eighth spot in the play-in. So yeah, these these next couple of games they're gonna, gonna go crazy. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try to let the Pelicans win, so Golden State can stay even nine or ten. Yeah. Let's see. That's why they cheated. No, That's why they cheated for goddamn. That's why they cheated for uh, uh, Lakers. No, because if um if Golden State wins. Uh, I believe they own, own the tiebreaker over Sacramento, so they'd actually jump Sacramento. So they they'd stay well. Right, actually, if, yeah, they'd stay ninth. But, yeah, if uh, Golden Sacramento State win, they jump over. That's uh, tenth. Yeah, yeah. Jump Golden State win, they jump back over Lakers. Yeah, they own the tiebreaker over over the Lakers. Oh, okay. So the so Golden State, if they win, they could end up with the eighth seed then. So yeah, the Lakers would only move up to the ninth seed. Yeah, oh, it would drop down to the ninth seed. Sorry. Yep. And the Mavericks got absolutely battered by Detroit. Who the hell played? <laughs> yeah, nobody. Dallas, Dallas didn't play nobody. Their starters, they sat Luca and Kyrie, and then their starters, they only played them like 10, 10 some minutes. So it basically but was their like, bench. Yeah, they, they like um they like Clippers. They already locked in the four and five. Mm. Yep. So they 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 play. Playoff set. They play each other whenever the playoffs start. They already locked in. Yep. Win or lose. And and OKC is going to finish with the number one seed because their last game yep. is against Dallas. And and I know Dallas is going to play their whole bench against you know, uh, like they're not going to bring nobody on that travel to Oklahoma and you said nah. They're going to they're going to play the whole bench of the Knicks. What? Man, set your ass down. Put your ass in the boom boom room saying some dumb shit like that. Here, here you go, Adam. Take five minutes, nigga. Get some milk and cookies. Let me see. Say yeah, I, was just about, dumb, I was just about to say. And say some dumb what? shit like that. Tell me we scared of some goddamn Knicks. Last time I checked, motherfucker, we sent that bum ass home. Fuck is you talking about? Oh, uh, a salute to you, Conley D. Mike. Uh, Draven asked you a question, Unc. He say, was Who? LeBron uh, E. E. Draven, he asked you uh, if, oh, here you if, go. if uh, yeah. LeBron was this screwed up when he played for the Heat. Well, he wouldn't He wouldn't have been this screwed up, first of all. And mm -hmm. uh, no, he wasn't. Because, see, we he can't – see, he can't control shit in, in the Miami organization. See, that's why his punk ass left. Cause he couldn't he couldn't take control over there. See, that's why his punk ass left. Yeah, he tried that shit. Don't don't think he didn't. He tried to do that shit he doing in the Lakers. Yeah, Pat Riley wouldn't have that shit. Miami Heat organization wasn't have that shit. That's why his punk P D ass left. No, so see, we we wouldn't have that over there, bro. Uh uh, that wasn't happening. Yeah, that 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 definitely wasn't happening. Hey, 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 305. That's why I put his ass. That's why I put his ass in the boom boom room. Today, Friday, motherfucker. You getting it. That's why I put his ass in the boom boom room, nigga. You talk about some Miami Heat scared of anybody. If you use the B word in the racial shit and you say dumb shit like Miami scared. Your ass going in the boom boom room, nigga. That's blasphemy. That that's blasphemy. Your ass going in the boom boom room. <laughs> you talk about Miami scared of any goddamn body on it. Y'all must be high. Wow, Denver. Yes, yes, E. Yes. So Go ahead, the the Nuggets at number three seed right yep. now. Yep. Because I believe Minnesota actually owns the tiebreaker over them as well, and they just won. And obviously, OKC owns the tiebreaker over them. So, wow, this is getting interesting, boy. Because <laughs> yeah. everything up in the air for the West, bro. 
except the full five. Everything else is up for debate right now. Right. Yeah, four or five um, is pretty much yeah, four or five is locked. Uh uh Dallas played Clippers. Yeah. So Dallas gave up because they pretty much assumed that ain't no way Utah gonna beat the Clippers tonight. So they pretty much knew yeah. that they're not gonna get that fourth spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. they, they yeah, they know, yeah, yeah, they they yeah, they just being realistic. Ain't no way Utah gonna go into the Clippers house and beat them tonight. So they already know that they got that fifth spot locked up. They just gonna rest their guys and get them healthy and 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 get ready to go. If the Clippers, they playing their starters tonight, but they probably not gonna play them too much. They need to relax and and get their guys healthy too. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. the, the number one seed right now. Yeah. <laughs> so what what seed is Boston? Uh one. Uh who? Boston. Oh, uh, they're the one seed as well. Yeah, they have the best record in, in NBA. You know, so they're not yeah, they're at the top of the whole league. Wait, so, are y'all sure Minnesota number one though? They're yep. saying the yep. their number was the number one seed. So what yeah. seed is Boston? One. One. They can't be both of them are one? No, no, no. Uh that I think they mean uh Minnesota is the number one of the West. Yeah. Because Boston's the number one of the league, and that's not changing no matter what. Okay. <laughs> so in the West, they're number one, and Boston yeah. in the East is number one stone. Yeah. Okay. So you think, man, don't, don't even hurt yourself like at 305. Dallas ain't running through no damn West. <laughs> with what? Running through with what? Horses or something? With, 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 with a horse and carriage? Because that's the only thing they're going to run through the West with horse and carriage. Man, Dallas ain't beat nobody, bro. Dallas where's, ain't beat nobody, bro. Where's the number eight? No. Well, uh, yeah, right now, yeah, we still yeah. number eight. But I think with this win, no, no, no. Actually, yeah, with this win and uh, Indiana's loss, Philly actually moves up to the seventh seed. No. Actually, six seed. Six. Yeah, because yeah, because um, Philly moved to both, six. Both, yeah, both Orlando and Indiana dropped. So on Indiana's back in the play in and Orlando's above just uh one game. Yeah, just nah, everything it. looks the same unless 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 my thing not updating. No, nah, it, it hasn't updated yet. It hasn't updated yet. It ain't updated, nephew. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, okay. it ain't update yet. Hold up. Oh, okay. Cause they it's cause it still got it still got six Okay, they got sixes at uh, what's that? Forty six. Well, it updated here, but they got over here. They got sixes still in seven C. Yeah, I think Indiana got the tiebreak over them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Indiana still still got the tiebreak over them. If we if we look if we took care of business against Philly and Indiana, we would have been the fifth C locked up easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. Uh, well, that'd right. be easy, but yeah. even even if we had just won it's against the Wizards, yeah. that bullshit two point loss against the Wizards. Yeah, this shit funny, bro. How this yeah. shit work out, man? Yep. Uh, playing with our food, that man. Crazy, yeah. But it happens, man. Sunday, right? That's it. Yeah, ain't, yep. ain't no games tomorrow. No, ain't, ain't no. Yeah, ain't no. Ain't no games tomorrow. So, yep. So, but again, a Sacramento win, <laughs> Sacramento win, and go State win. Lakers go right back to TFC. <laughs> Cheating fuckers. I can't Crazy, stand these bastards, boy. <laughs> God, I can't stand these bastards, man. Uh, oh, man. Damn me some cheating ass, disgusting people, man. Oh, man. This is shit is crazy, man. They're really messing up the game, bro. Really messing up the game. Yeah, I mean, look. 
I, I know it's going to be a tough series, but I don't I don't get how everybody think Dallas going to beat the Clippers now all of a sudden. Well, again, we are, you know, we discussed it. Um, we discussed it. They, they, they hate Clippers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's basically what it is. They, they don't like the Clippers. Be right back. <clears throat> What's good, Conley? Uh, wait, hold up. NFL draft tomorrow? Hold up. Let me see some shit. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna see what the Dolphins. I mean, like who the Dolphins pick up, man. I wouldn't mind taking Cooper DeGene out of Iowa, man. He's a Swiss Army knife. He's a real deal. I don't care if he's a white boy, man. Like he could play DB. He's physical. He's athletic. Um, yeah, he could play DB. Like he's a Swiss Army knife. He could play uh, in the box. He could play deep safety. He could play in the nickel. He could play on the boundary. I'm, I'll take I'll take Cooper DeGene out of Iowa, man. At, at that, I think I think we got pick twenty one. Um, let me see something. Let's see how I was looking right now. I said Philly is the sixth seed. Let me see Philly six. Let me see what's going down. I thought Philly just thought that I just saw them at the seventeen. Man, them boys at the seventh seed right now. Cause I'm looking at the because. The NBA thing updated. It put Denver at three. So I think it's, yeah, I don't think Philly at the sixth seed. I don't know what y'all looking at. Maybe I'm seeing something because because Indiana got a better division record than Philly. Indiana got a, yeah, Indiana got the tiebreaker because they got a better division record. That's why if Philly lose on Sunday, and Indiana lose to Atlanta on Sunday, and Orlando lose to Milwaukee on Sunday, and we win, we the fifth seed because we got a better division record than all of them. That's how it's going to go down. And, like, in a tiebreaker situation like that, like a four-way tie is going to go by who got the better division record. That's how it and we got go a down. better division record than all of them. I think we got the second best division record in in the in the whole East. <laughs> so we, we play Toronto again, right? Yeah, yeah, that should be an easy win. Should so like, be. so we got yeah. the second best division <laughs> right. record in the East and the second best road record in the East. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. We gonna shock some people again come playoff time. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Experience check. Great road record check. Let's where see what where do you see them at the six? You keep saying they're at the six. Where where are you seeing them? The, the no, the standards haven't updated yet, but because um if you look at if you look at the, the record, like if you go on the games and then oh, you, you said record, Sunday. No, he said Sunday they're gonna oh. be at the six. That's what he said. Sunday. Sunday at the six. Is that what you mean? Wait, this is um, no. No, he just deleted it. <laughs> what y'all saying, man? Um, no, but I'm I'm saying because Indiana and yeah, both Indiana and uh, Orlando lost because Philly has a better record than them than them with 35 losses, and they have wait a minute. Oh no, they both have 35 losses. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I need the Hawks to win on Sunday and the Magic to lose for you to be at the six. But you're not at the six. You're at the seven. Weren't we at the eight seed last year too? Well, at the end, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yep. This team is so unserious. Yeah, like because we got. Oh, oh you talking about in the playoffs? In in the play, and we was number seven. Okay, but in the playoffs, we were the eight seed. We was eight, right? Because we lost to that. We lost to Atlanta that first game, and then we beat the Bulls. <clears throat> 
Mm-hmm. So we uh, need Hawks. We don't need no Hawks. We need well, Bucks. Yeah. Beat, we need Bucks Not to beat. for the fifth seed. Unk for the fifth seed. We need the Hawks for the fifth seed. Oh, 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 fifth seed. Oh, yep. I, I because that's that's too far. Shit. Nah, nah, not even. Not even because. Hey, it's still you never know what could happen in the last game of the season where you know what I mean all these dudes could come out and just you know have a hot game because it's the last game of the season. So if Atlanta oh, okay. I see beat what you Indiana, said. Fifth yeah, okay, I see, I see. So we need Bucks to win, mm-hmm. we need Hawks to win, uh-huh. and we need Brooklyn to win. Exactly. And if that happens, and obviously we win. We the fifth seed because we got a better conference, um, no, a better, right. a better, a better division record division, than Orlando, right. Indiana, and Philly. Right. Wow. Yep. It could happen. Wow, I'm telling wow. you, it could happen. Wow! 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 <laughs> because They're trying to try on purpose. <laughs> Milwaukee's motivation is simple. I'm gonna see if Milwaukee are cowards or if they're real men over there, because if they, if, if if Milwaukee loses, they lose the number two seed to New York because New York's going to play against Chicago and Chicago's not going to play nobody. So New York's winning on Sunday, no doubt in my mind, because they play hard. That's how their coach, they're going to win. Milwaukee, they're going to play Orlando. They already beat Orlando without Giannis. So if they got Dame Dollar coming back to play, if Milwaukee takes the game serious, big chance they win. Okay, cool. That's a check mark. The biggest thing for us, though, okay, because the Atlanta shit would be nice, but whatever. The biggest shit for us is can Brooklyn find any type of fight in their system <clears throat> to go to Philadelphia and beat Philadelphia with and beat on one leg? So oh, Claxton, God. you know, Claxton could probably give him beat some problems, man. They're not. Now, Brooklyn ain't going to lay down, bro. Nah. Nah, they better not. I mean, if, if Philly beat them, Philly going to beat them just because they, they outwork or whatever. But yeah. but but uh, the Nets, Brooklyn ain't laying down. They're going to really try to close out the season on a win, on a positive. Yeah. So, it ain't, you know, it ain't like it's just going, they're going to go last game and just lay down. I don't, I don't think that. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, so, I don't think so either. Yeah, they're going to they gonna fight, man. Um, but it would be, man, then it would be something to play. We get fifth seed mm-hmm. and play Cleveland. Cleveland in the first round. Wow. That'd be something, boy. <laughs> and if that do happen, I'm going on every Miami Heat hater stream. Especially the Miami Heat fans. And I'm gonna lay into all them bastards. That's what I'm gonna do. Suckers. <laughs> yeah, man. That's that's uh but again, that just goes to show you. That goes to show you that Miami is, is not the only team that's playing, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. I mean, everybody's struggling. Yeah, if you're talking about the yeah, East, man. man, besides Boston, who pretty much they ran away with the season, gotta give them credit. They ran away with it. They did what they had to do. Besides Boston, right. everybody in the East struggled. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You know, what I mean, everybody well, we struggled know they, at some we point. We know. Yeah, we know. We know they everybody struggled, bro. We know that. Yeah, no, they ain't gonna rest in B. They need that. They're not trying to play in the plan. They're not gonna rest in B, bro. I don't care if he got one leg. They they can't afford to rest in B. They really can't. Unfortunately. <laughs> I tell you this though. If we gotta play in like if they keep on dragging him out there, see that's another game that he's gonna have to put more wear and tear on that leg. Okay, and B, come play us like that. And we right. already owe y'all a lick back. We'll take that exactly. seven seed off the muscle and play, and play, and play whoever, whether it's New York or um, Milwaukee. That's fine by me, man. That's 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 fine by me. 
that's fine by me. You know, it's going to be a shame that we're going to have to cut cut brunch and playoff run short if we see if we see New York in that first round. It's going to be a damn shame. But hey. Oh, no, we going in on the ass. We definitely going in on the ass. Yeah, Boston ain't – Boston, these last – these last 10 few games, Boston, I'm telling you, bro, man, I'm sorry. I'm just not impressed. I, I see the flaw. I see the flaw, bro. Now, is 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 the opponent going to explore their flaws or are they going to let them dominate with them goddamn three-point shooting? That's 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 the that's the question. You know, that's well, that 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 lies on the other side because if they gonna live and die by the three, if they hitting them, and you and like you playing good defense and you doing the best you can, they just hitting threes. Then that's you know that's that that's one thing. But we all know come playoff time, you're not surviving with that brand of basketball. I don't. There's no, nah, that's just not happening. They shoot a ridiculous amount of threes and they stubborn with it. They coach yep. is getting arrogant every. Every post game interview, he acting like, "Oh, you know, what I mean, like we just experimenting because we got it locked up." So, oh, okay, all right, bro, okay, okay, all right, you experiment, you doing things you ain't do all season. Okay, cool, you know, all right. Act like throughout NBA every year, you know, what I mean, like throughout NBA history, every year there's going to be a team or two that just run away with the regular season. This ain't the first. Every yeah, year this like, happens. Every exactly. year. <laughs> and they, they act like this shit is new. That's the crazy part, man. <laughs> well, I mean, really. What are y'all talking about here? Oh, boy. Tick I don't know, talk. Pelicans, talk. Put, Pelicans putting it on, uh, Warriors. Oh, for real? They was yeah. down in the first quarter? Hold up. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 50 to 42. Damn, Pelicans desperate. Boy. And the Warriors just want to give it up. Okay, Golden State. Hey, it'll be crazy. Well, let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Suns and Kings battling. That's a good game. Mm-hmm. You say wisdom, we gotta be fair. At least he's experimenting. Spoke could also try something new, but choose not to. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's experimenting. We'll see though. I don't believe in Boston. I know I know I know they had a great season and and, and they got everybody with the googly eyes and stuff, but I don't I don't believe in them, man. I know when it comes down to it, when you put us in the arena with them, put us uh, in between them white lines, and, and you got to tip the ball and go play basketball, we could beat them four times before they beat us four times. Most I mean, definitely. That's what it comes down to. And Most definitely, bro. Another thing that Boston fans really worry about, and it's, and it's not only have – the Miami Heat, we've had a great road season this season. Boston fans know when we go into Boston, it's like mini Miami. It's like our home. So don't don't sleep on that, too, right. Boston fans. Y'all know in the playoffs, going into that Jim Crow arena, you know we the boogeyman going in that. Now, I give y'all credit. Y'all be doing y'all thing in Miami. We got to stop that bullshit. You know what I mean? Like not playing good at home. I give Boston credit. They do come to Miami and they do get hot. But y'all got the home court advantage and we got no problem going into Boston. You know, like, you know, uh, how and we oh, smacked y'all two games in a row in oh. Boston. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, now better be careful. But we'll take it one step at a time. You know what I mean? Like, we can't look ahead and, you know, worry about Boston. We got to take care of what we got coming up. We still got one more against Toronto, who's, you know, obviously they're going to try to improve on, you know, all the mistakes that they did this game. And they're going to try to have 
their last game of the season. Everybody wants to have their last game of the season in a, in, in a win, especially when your season's over. You know what I mean? At least, you know what yeah. I mean? That's what you want to say. Hey, you know what I mean? Like my last game of the season, I played a great game. So we got to be prepared for that. Take care of business. And then however the chips fall, the chips fall, man. The play-in save you guys. How to play-in save us if if there wasn't no play-in, we in the playoffs. <laughs> we would have faced we would have faced the box earlier if there was no play-in, literally. <laughs> and matter of fact, how many now years have play been saving the Pelicans? Hmm. Yeah, if there if there was no play-in <laughs> last year, you feel me? Like we just would have um eliminated Boston earlier. That's no, all that, that was because it would have been two seven. Yeah. Oh no, Boston. Yeah, Boston. Excuse me. I keep forgetting Boston was the second seed last year. <laughs> yep. Yep. That would have been a two seven, and and you know what I mean like we would have sent them home early because don't forget, Atlanta. Atlanta had Boston sweating a little bit in that first round. Atlanta had Boston sweating a little bit, like they had a hard time with 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 you know Trey Young and them boys. Atlanta yep. had Boston sweating a little bit. Atlanta just lost off of the off of the IQ and just being dumb. And then and then you know, you know, Doc Rivers and them boys the next round, they, you know, I mean that they let Boston off the hook. They had Boston right where they wanted them. And they just I'm not surprised though. You know, I mean they let Boston off the hook and we had to come through and take care of them. They thought they was coming all the way back just to get that 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 loud ass stud on their home court. Boy, they got as high as the damn moon. We won three in a row. We told y'all don't let us get. To the... And then, and then they, they fell down to the, the the loudest thud you could hear in the world <laughs> at home. Right in the crazy. middle of that damn leprechaun. <laughs> they left a crack right in the middle of that damn leprechaun. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. It's crazy, they crazy shit, bro. Yeah, it is, but Sunday, Sunday really gonna be Sunday gonna be a mess, bro. Real talk. Sun Sunday is uh <laughs> because it's it's so much it's so much implications, man. You know what I'm saying? It's is 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 a lot of implications, man. Yeah, and everybody playing at the same time. Now I know the assistant coaches and stuff like you know I'm mean? like they're gonna have their phones and they're gonna be paying attention to scores and all that shit. Of course, so, of you know course, what I mean. Yeah. So that so they're gonna be updated throughout the games, but hey, we'll see how they choose to play it. Oh, you know everybody gonna have you. You know damn well. Every <laughs> I don't. I don't get why coaches do that. Like, it, like if if you're just score watching, and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, this team won. Now we have to win this game. Like, just don't do that. Just just come out with the mentality of we have to win this game. Like, <laughs> play the game. Take care of your business first and worry about everything else. Yeah, no doubt. You know? Cause that that shit is gonna be crazy, bro. Real talk. That that shit is it's gonna be wild Sunday though. Let's see what the clip was doing. Oh, no. So I just got the update. It's actually OKC at number one now. Yeah, not um, thingy. 
not Minnesota. Yeah, man. So, yeah, good game, Miami. Let me see. Y'all hit them like. Come on, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Because Sunday going to be off the hook, man. And now, Sunday's game is 1 o'clock. Shit. <laughs> I got to make sure. I said, I got to make sure I said this shit the day before, boy. Because that, that little early. <laughs> That a little early, boy. They got like what? How many games? They got like seven games at one o'clock Sunday. I wonder who put that shit together. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven games. Wow. Wow. All right, y'all. We're going to shut it down. Everybody all right? So we beat Sunday. Y'all know I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to talk about the scenarios. The scenario. The scenario. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. If you haven't subscribed, you're listening on your uh you're listening on your um your devices, man. Hit that hit that subscribe button, man. Y'all know what it is. Salute y'all. Good game tonight, man. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. We 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 close right it out. Night, brother, as always. Okay. Yes, sir. As always, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Definitely good play by play, man. So, what you what you gonna do Sunday, nephew? Yeah, we might as well do the do the play by play, and then you know, what I mean, I like, will be checking around around the league, seeing seeing what's updating. You know, okay, bet. by the second, you feel me? Like we'll have the action by the second as we see all the other scores, because everything is right. gonna be on at the same time. <laughs> like we're literally gonna watch our fate play throughout the day. Yeah, because all of us, all the main ones play. We play at one o'clock. Sixes play at one o'clock, 
and um uh uh magic play one o'clock. Perfect. So all of us wow, yeah, that's gonna be get what about Atlanta? Uh all the East Coast play one o'clock. Oh, okay. Wow, that's perfect. It's crazy. That's perfect. Yep. We're gonna know the fate by like by like 3 30. Everything's gonna be settled. Yeah, pr pretty much gonna be settled. Yep, by 3 30, something to four, everything gonna be settled, man. So y'all make sure y'all be back here. It's gonna be a big day Sunday, man. The blessing of the most high man, that ancestor, man, God Almighty, man. We're gonna be right back here Sunday, man. I hope all of y'all gonna be available. I know many of y'all might be still be in church, you know, but whenever you get available, come on back, man. So we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. Y'all know what it is. It ain't even nothing to discuss. We're gonna do everything Sunday, man. We're gonna do everything Sunday. All prospects, all look forward to whatever happens Sunday. Everything gonna take take place Sunday. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Good job, Lucy. Good job, D Master, and definitely. Good job, Nephew Wisdom, man, for the play-by-play, -play, man. And good job for everybody who came in and tuned in to kick it with us. Rather, you was live in the chat or listening on your device, man. So until Sunday, y'all, hey, man, let's do it. Let's go Miami. I'm Big Tone for Big Tone Open Sports Talk. Peace.